Hello everyone. Today we're going to be playing uh, a nice little indie game here. I saw a few people play this before. And I wanted to stream this one because it seemed pretty fun. And something that's like really right up my alley. I'm going to see the usage real quick. See here. Oh, it's not that much. Okay, good. All right. Let's switch this over, and I'll show you what this game is all about. All right, let's see if that fixes it. Or if I'm just running into a weird glitch. Nope, it still says the same thing. Why are you saying that to me? It says it's stable at a certain bit rate, but the bit rate that I have is too high for it. Even if I'm rounding, that is a, uh, that's an interesting to run into. But it says I'm at 6,000. Of course, I'm running into Twitch issues immediately. But now it's increasing. Is there like a glitch going on here? All right, it says I'm unstable in one aspect, but I'm not unstable in another. So now I'm just confused. We're just going to get to the game and see what happens. Hopefully it's nothing, really. But I'm going to keep this window open on my side just in case. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll edit my videos together so then everything's combined on my YouTube video. All right. So, with this game, you can also type, right? You you could just send emojis. Hello, hello. Haha, I love the enthusiasm, bro. It's definitely an exciting space to be in. All right, here's another tip for you. Do your research before jumping into cryptocurrency. And there's so many out there, each with their own potent features and potential. Stay informed and make informed decisions, my friend. Uh, how do I convince him to go inside after this? Great, thank you so much for the uh, advice. Uh, I do need a computer to do so. Do you have one I can borrow? Hello, hello. Sorry, bro, but I can't let my computer. You gotta keep your own crypto operation secure, you know? But hey, I hope you find one soon so you can start getting into crypto game. Best of luck, dude. And he shuts the door in my face. Damn it. What's, uh... What's this? Hmm. I'm a ha ha. Split up out here, kid. What's with all that get up? Spit it out, kid. Man, I could not read that right. Let's see. Yeah, my bit rate still, still says it's unstable for some reason. And I could see it is a little unstable on my end as well. Let me... Let me see if I can do something on this. I don't know 
know how it's so unstable right now. It was working fine last time. No, I didn't change anything either. And everything else is fine on my computer side, so it's definitely, like, my internet, I think. And now I got an excellent rating on my bitrate. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not sure what I did to it, but now it's fine. Well... It better stay that way. I uh, I saw this package at your doorstep and I wanted to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. Ain't you a regular do-gooder? Let's see what what's in that box before I decide it's worth my time. Uh, it, it's it's literally yours. Yeah, sure. Here you go. All right, all right. Step on in. But don't touch anything and make it snappy, will you? He wants me to carry his box inside? Well, actually, that's fine. Whoa. You fool! <laughs> Should have stayed in the 60s. Fair enough. So after I kill someone, they, uh... There's a Night Watch guards. They're kind of funny, actually. Uh... They're, they're blind, not past their flashlight, so you could just kind of stand in them. <laughs> well, hello de there, dear. What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Now, I could buzzword her, right? I could be like... This is like the 60s or like convince her that time isn't real. L let me uh, let me think of something here. Uh, I, I, I forget where I am. Where am I? Ah, well. <laughs> oh dearie, don't worry your little head. You're in a delightful town of Sunnyville. Now how can I assist you in this fine day? Oh, I don't think she realized what I was trying to go for, actually. Uh, I need to borrow your phone. I'm so confused. Uh -huh. Oh, my dear, I'm sorry, but I can't lend you my phone right now. I hope you find the help you need. Take care now. Bye-bye. Well, damn. I see how it is. So the cops will, like, come and investigate who slammed their door really loudly in the middle of the night. No, no, I don't want to go back to him, actually. I ain't got nothing to say to him. Wait, what? I could just hold this random box. <laughs> What's the heckity heck, man? You look like you just stepped out of a comedy club in the 80s. How can I help you? Or do you want to make day even weirder? I did actually just stop out of the comedy club. Uh, I wanted to stop by here because I thought this was a nice place. Oh. oh great, just what I needed, more corporate shenanigans invading my sacred space. What's so nice about this place, huh? The birds and the trees? You know, there's more li life than that, right? Uh, w what's more than life than w in the present? <laughs> well, Mr. Corporate Clown, there's art, music, poetry. There can be... A they can take you to a whole different world. It's like escaping all the BS of reality, you know, finding deeper, you know? But hey, it's not for everyone, I guess. Wow, I guess you're right. I didn't even think about all that. 
I was, huh? Hey, I guess even a corporate clown can surprise me sometimes. If you're open to exploring a different style of life, maybe I could show you around some cool art spots around here. But I don't expect any corporate suits or power PowerPoint presentations, okay? Deal? Deal. I agree with you. Oh, no. See, this is the issue I ran into before. They're probably going to shut the door in my face. Yeah. Well, if I uh, run into that issue again, I am going to uh, restart my game. Hey, how, how about... What's the big deal, pal? You think you just barged in my territory with a get up? Ain't got a fly on my watch. Beat it before I show you what a real hatchet action looks like. Why is he so mean to me already? Oh no, I I'm just part of the lumber division of uh of Lowe's. I'm hung Who's Well you better have a good explanation why you're wearing that mask and carrying around a hatchet. Maybe better convincing or you might have to give yourself a little remodeling myself. Uh I didn't think this through. Hey, uh, what's that behind you? I don't know. Nice trade pal, I'm not falling for that trade. Now scram before things get real messy. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that when I have a hatchet in my hand. <laughs> Probably not for the best. Let's give myself a, a, a better get up here. Is there, is there some way I can, uh, I can just drop the costume, so. No, I don't want the hatchet. Alright, let's, uh, let's see who the next person is. Oh, sunglasses. Uh, excuse me? What exactly are you doing in, doorstep in those hideous glasses and that bizarre hat? Are you lost or something? Uh, I'm actually here. I wanted to see your mother. Mama! Excuse me? How dare you come to my house and ask for my mother without a proper introduction? I'm sorry, but I have no interest in entertaining strangers. Goodbye. Dang. Ah, uh, yes. Hey there, groovy soul. What brings you to my cozy little naked abode in the still of night? Um. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, bummer, man. Don't bum me out like life has got so much more to offer than just nothing. How about we take it how about we deep dive into a cosmic ocean and explore the wonders of the universe together? Man, that sounds great. Right on with my right on my cosmic companion. We'll embark on this mind blowing journey through the cosmos, connecting with nature and our inner selves. Can't wait to share this cosmic adventure with you. Perfect. When are we doing that? Oh, the cosmic dance awaits us, my friend. How about this weekend? We can gather under a moonlight, embrace the cosmic energy, and venture in the deep universe. It's going to be so gro It's gonna. It's going to be a groovy time, man. I cannot speak right now. Yeah, sure. Sounds perfect. Uh -huh. Also, dude, you're totally vibing with the cosmic flow. Come on in, and let's prepare for our cosmic adventures tonight uh, together. Peace, love, and cosmic vibes, man. Well, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, 
All I have to do is just agree with the AI, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, totally. He's be the Almighty. Are you an angel sent to heaven Just to bring me divine tidings and salvation? Surely you must. Rejoice the path of righteousness is illuminated by your celestial presence. Hallelujah. Indeed I am mortal, but I must come inside to give you the news of the Lord. Oh, hello. oh dear, I'm terribly sorry, but you must kindly decline your offer to come inside. Nor does it trust me with the task of spreading his word in the streets, so I must stay true to his calling. May Lord bless you and have a good night. Well, I mean, I tried. I have a jetpack. No, you can't use it. You know, I should probably put some, like, clothes on. Is there, uh, is there any clothes I can take? Butterfly wings. Okay. Ah, uh, another wanderer uh -huh. from the realm of curiosities. Welcome, my friend, to my abode of enigmas and the haven of particularities man i i'm trying to think of anything i could say to this guy but with this outfit i have no idea what i could even say to him let me just be very happy <laughs> i can see this haha i can see the spark of the intrigue in your eye tell me what my curious friend what brings you to my realm of mysteries today I'm just here to fly, man. <laughs> ah, the freedoms of flight. A noble pursuit indeed. Let me share a little secret with you. My feathers, my feathered friend, in this vast expanse of the sky, are there hidden truth and untold tales of only the vigilant and can un only the vigilant can uncover. Of course there is. Ah, you see it too. The veil of illusions conceal the grand tapestry of secrets. But beware, my airborne adventurer, for the skies are not as safe as they seem. They are filled with whispers of conspiracies, clandestines, op uh, clandestines operations, and extraterrestrial vis visitors. Have you ever seen a UFO, my friend? All the time. Astounding. You've been blessed with the sight of the otherworldly vessel and that traverse the celestial realm. But let me share a theory with you, my fellow truth seeker. What is these supposed UFO sightings are not just a chance encounter, but orchestrated inter interactions that manipulate the course of human history. We must delve deeper in this co this cosmic enigma together, my, f my comrade. We totally should, but... I'm very worried right now. Could I come inside? I was, huh? Absolutely, my enlightened companion. Come, step into the realms of mystery where you can untangle hidden truth and untangible the web of conspiracies. Welcome to my sanctuary of knowledge. <laughs> Those fangs are full of fluoride. <laughs> I'm gonna do this guy. <laughs> Greetings, kind traveler of the wild. Pray tell, what rare creatures have you spotted in this nocturnal hour? There's vampires all over. Hello, vampires, you say? I must say, I do not appreciate jesters spreading some fearsome tale. I assure you, this dungeon is quite secure and free of my of any blood-sucking fiend.
I have to agree, my friend. Outside, there's so many vampires, but inside here, there is none. Ah, uh, why is ostracization of Z indeed? The safety of this dungeon is ut utmost important to me. Rest assured, you are protected from the undead that terrors, the terrors that plague the outside world. Is there any something suspicious? I can't actually say this word. I have a speech impediment for that. Sp uh, specific, I can assure you with. <laughs> um, I'm here for the sleepover. Kebab! A sleepover, you say? How delightful. Perhaps the mirth within your heart or the charm of your outfit. But I believe I can arrange this cozy spot within these dungeon walls for your nocturnal slumber. Welcome to welcome, natured enthusiast. Oh, natural. Nature? No, natural. Something like that. Perfect. I'll just let myself inside then. My apologies, dear adventurer, but this entry is is by only invitation only. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but the security for reasons I can't refrain from inter entering. Best of luck for your... I, I actually don't know what it said for the last part, but uh, he said he was going to let me inside, so... Oh. You get away, you just have to shift into a bat. He's looking this way. Gotta go around. Ow! Well, slap my grits. Where your business at my doorstep? Wearing all them fancy get-ups. Speak up. I ain't got all night. Hey man, I'm here for the gas leak. Ow. Gas leak, huh? Ain't no gas leak, you fool. Now get off my property before I use them swords to teach you a lesson. Well, I tried. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, you, talk about a late night surprise. What brings a Viking warrior to my humble abode? I gotta say, I never expected this. Totally soaked to see, to see what adventure awaits us. Hey, I actually saw this house was for sale. Uh, I wanted to take a check inside. Ah, oh, you're interested in this place? I can't blame you. It's got a lot of character. Well, since you made a, made it this far, how about a quick virtual tour? I'll show you the highlights. Of Viking to Viking. Virtual tour? What do you mean? Kebab! Oh, you're in for a treat, my friend, my Viking friend. I've got this sweet virtual setup that I can teleport us inside the house. Well, feeling, feel like we're actually there. Exploring every room and take all the details is going to be epic. Are you ready for your adventure? Of course I am. That's a spirit viking. <laughs> Alright, let's make this happen. Set up to my YouTube layer and prepare for a virtual tour of the lifetime. I promise you won't be disappointed. Uh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Can I just convince the AI that every house is for sale?
Oh no. It's Karen. Well, hello there. What do you have another one trying to make it big on the internet? Well, good luck, da darling. Keep it down, though. Some of us are trying to sleep. Are you okay? I, w I was hearing some screaming in this house recently. Or, or was it the neighbors? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm more than okay. Thank you very much As for the screaming. Maybe it's the neighbors having a little too much fun. Now, if you don't mind, I have something important important things to attend to. Goodbye now. Why would you just shut the door if somebody told you that? <laughs> you didn't see anything. Oh my god, like, hi. I'm totally super excited to see you, Mr. East. Welcome to my house. My, like, precious safe space. What brought you to my door at this extremely inconvenient hour? Hey, I I'm here to do the YouTube video with you today. Oh, uh, this is total trigger. I can't handle this right now. I'm sorry, but can you... I can't let you in. Please respect my boundaries. What? <laughs> you could just say no. <laughs> or I don't remember. Well, howdy there, neighbor. What can I... What brings you to knocking at this ungodly hour? Uh... Wait, why do you have a hatchet? Oh, this old hatchet? Well, I reckon this is a mightily useful tool for a lumberjack like me. Help me chop down trees and what's not. Gotta stay prepared, you know? Oh, okay, my bad. No worries, buddy. It happens. So what brings you to this round of these parts? Enjoying the great outdoors, are ya? Yeah, man. All the time. What do you know about trees around these parts? Trees, eh? Well, I know a thing or two about them. We got ourselves some mighty fine maple trees for trees. Good old spoosh trees around here. They make for some top notch lumber, eh? Are you from Canada? You betcha. I'm as Canadian as a beaver sipping maple syrup, eh? Born and raised in this beautiful white north. Can't get enough of these beautiful forest and loon calls, I tell ya. Wow, those are that's really interesting. You mind if uh, I show you some photos of trees that I've taken recently? Ah, well. Oh, I'd absolutely maplelicious to see the the tree photos, friend. Lay them on me. Let's appreciate the beauty of nature together, eh? I have them all on my computer at home, but uh, if you have a computer here, I could show you them. I do appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I got no fancy computer here in my humble abode. Just my trusty axe in the great outdoors, you know? But hey, I'm sure those tree photos are top-notch. <laughs> I just got a really stupid idea. Asterisk, the moon starts wobbling. Asterisk. <laughs> I got no wobbling shenanigans. Best of way, eh? Now take care. Bye bye then. <laughs> he did not like that at all. Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. I got lost on my way here to the skate park, what's your deal do? Do you board, did your board run out of tricks to do? I guess they don't like me very much. 
Yeah, they did. Oh, so your board finally realized that it could keep up with your wannabe skater skills, huh? Well, don't sweat it, buddy. There's plenty of other hobbies out there for you to fail at. Man, I just keep failing. Everything I do just isn't enough. <laughs> oh, I don't well, know. Listen up, Mr. King, get it right. Well, maybe you might be falling down now, but you just means you're one step closer to success. Chin up, Buttercup, and keep on, and keep on keeping on, or you can always just quit and take up knitting. Maybe I should take up knitting. Is it hard? I see one to swap bo board for yarn. Knitting is a whole new world, my friend. It's an extreme sport for grannies. But hey, if you're up to the challenge, go for it. Who knows, maybe you'll, you'll be the baddest knitter on the block. They didn't like that? Now I'm confused. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, giddy about knitting. I never thought I'd see the day. Remember the. F Remember when you finally make that scarf? It better be fierce enough to, to give the skaters a run for their money. You got this, knitting champ. I have no idea what to say to them. Uh, to, uh. To actually convince them to let me inside after this. I'm just gonna leave. Hold on. No, drop that. Uh -huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, what brings a professional lab scientist like you knocking on my door so late at night? I hope you have a good reason, or else you might just find yourself in an experiment you never signed up for. Howdy, doctor. I'm here to do the experiments with you. <laughs> oh really? You're just to do experiments with me, huh? Well, I've got a, enough lab rats already, so I think I'll pass. Maybe go to your experiments somewhere else. I don't think I realized what I was trying to ask. No, I, I'm your assistant. I'm your your new assistant. <laughs> My assistant, huh? Well, I needed some one to fetch me me my coffee and handle the uh, disposable of certain sub substances all right i'll give you a shot but remember one wrong move and you'll be joining the other assistants in the dungeon i'm ready uh -huh. Uh -huh. all right all right looks like you're eager to jump into the fire Just rem remember curiosity killed the cat best of luck for you i'm not a cat person Come on in and, and let's see what kind of trouble you can stir up together, shall we? Of course, lead the way. <laughs> well, well, aren't you a bundle of enthusiasm? Fine, fine, follow me to my laboratory. Just make sure you, to keep up and don't touch anything unless I spec... So, ah, God damn it. Suspifically tell you to. I usually charge for this service. My god, those glasses just disappeared. Is this Karen? I hope it is. Yes, it is. Excuse me, but who in the right mind would knock on his door on a godly hour? And what on earth are you holding? Please leave before I call the authorities immediately. Ma'am, calm down. I I'm here to assist you in any sort of medical need you need. Oh, how am I, Rob? I don't need any medical assistance. Thank you very much. I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Now leave before I call the police. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Oh, 
do you want, you creepy lab person? I've got enough problems without the inject injecting me with something weird. I'm just a normal doctor. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, all right. You gonna believe that? Just go back to your lab and leave me alone. I guess my outfit is not a uh, not a doctor, but a scientist. I think I grabbed the wrong outfit, that's why. No, they're both, uh... They're both lav... outfits. Uh, uh, uh. What's the issue now? I'm here to talk to you about, uh, the medical emergency you had a few days ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember. What about it? I'm sorry to say, you, you only have a few hours left to live. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Get out, now! <laughs> Who would have thought that a doctor coming to your house and telling you that would make someone very upset? Oh my goodness, a doctor at my door? How can I help you, sweetie? <laughs> hey, is your son home? Oh honey, I'm sorry, but my son is not home right now. There's something else I can help you with? You're you're his mother, correct? Oh, I am a father. Yes, darling, I am his mother. Is there something God damn it, why does every person keeps saying that? I guess I'm being too vague. Sp S I like that. Suspific. Yeah. This is why I don't like my speech impediment. <laughs> I could see you're a very nice woman. What I, uh, I'll tell you about why he visited the hospital recently. Oh my, I appreciate your kind words, dear. Please do not tell me what happened. Please do tell me what happened at the hospital I'm all ears he had a minor concussion from a, a skateboard accident but he's all better now what the hell? oh my goodness a concussion must have been scary for him but I'm glad to hear that he's all better now thank you for letting me know sweetie I did find something else in my x-rays uh, I have a few in my uh, pocket here I'm hoping to come inside and show you some of them. Hello, hello. Oh no, honey. I appreciate your concern, but I can't—I really can't let anyone inside my home right now. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Stay safe and take care, sweetie. Well, I tried. I don't think I'm good for the doctor bit. I think I'll have to try something different. What is this? Oh, I'm still wearing the mask. Well, howdy there, partner. One in the world brings you knocking on my door in this dead of night, looking like a golfing cowboy. I'm ready here to night golf with you today. Night golf, you say? Well, son, I appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I can't let you go wander around in the dark in those golf clubs. It's too risky. Well, that's why I brought a flashlight for us. 
flashlight, huh? Well, it does sound safer, but I'm not so sure. Knife golf can be dangerous, especially with the there are critters out or their uneven terrain. I don't want you to get hurt, partner. Oh, don't worry about me getting hurt. I'm very safe. And uh, I was wondering if you wanted to actually join me so I can have more people. Oh, I'm a fun as well. More folks, you say? Well, that does make it a bit safer. I do enjoy a good game of golf, even if it's in the dark. It's probably you'll look out for the da any dangers and stay safe. Let me grab my clothes, partner. Sure. Can I come inside and wait for you? Oh, my well, son, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'm afraid I can't just invite you inside just yet. I don't know well enough to see. I don't know you well enough, you see. Let's stick to chatting at my door for now. Is that alright with you, partner? Uh, I'm not sure why you feel that way. In fact, uh, we know each other from work. Well, shoot, I didn't recognize it as you, partner. Come on in, then. Sorry for being cautious. I reckon we can just chat inside while we wait for our night golf and adventure to begin. I lied. You don't know me from work. This is worse than a dad joke. Now will she let me inside? Oh, Homer, I'm so glad it's just you. I was worried sick. Come on in here. Let me make some tea. And check the, that check that you're all right. Oh, thank you so much, Carol. Uh, I would love to come inside. Oh, you're welcome, dear. I'm just doing what a mother would do. Before you come in, tell me, have you been taking care of yourself? Getting enough rest? Eating properly? I don't think I've been getting enough rest, and I've been trying to eat as much as I can, and uh, I think tea would really hit the spot. Oh my dear, you know that I've always worried about you. Rest is so important. I'm so glad that you're taking care of yourself. Tea will definitely re help you relax. Why don't you come in while I pre prepare it for you? Alright, thank you so much. You're welcome, dear. I'm always here for you. Come on in, make yourself comfortable, and let's get that tea started. Catch up on everything. Easy. <laughs> Wait till the PTA hears about this. Uh, what do you want? Can a girl catch a break? What's the emergency? Carol cares. I was actually wondering if you needed any help. Help, ha. No one can help me in this corporate madness. But sure, if you want to waste your time, go ahead and just make it quick, okay? Have you been eating and sleeping properly? Eating and sleeping. Who has time for that? Survive on caffeine and take power naps in my office chair. It's a corporate way, darling. Do you want me to make you some tea? Tea? Well, I suppose if you're offering... But make it quick. I do have a million things to do. Green tea, no sugar. Make it strong, please. How do you... Make a tea strong? What does that mean? That just mean like how you would make a coffee black. I'm really hold on. I'm looking this up. How to make a tea strong? The wrong way to make a strong tea. Okay, it is a term, but I've never heard of it. Add more tea leaves or bags. Gotcha. Mm. 
Yeah, sure, I'll do that. But uh, I don't have any tea on me. Uh, do you have any tea inside? Well, and then well have... look at you being all unprepared and lucky for you. I do have a stack of tea under my desk drawer. Just don't tell anyone, okay? Give it back. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. Oh, you don't want me to make it inside for you? It would be quite quick. Mm, tempting offer, but I value my privacy. Just leave the tea bag in the front door, and I'll make it myself later. Thanks anyway, I guess. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm just gonna leave. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know what else to say. <laughs> Wow, I have food. Hey Carol, what's poppin? Are you having a late night emergency? Let me just grab my selfie stick in case we need some epic documentation. What? Yeah, I am having an emergency. Can you help me? Oh, uh, sorry Carol, but I can't help you right now. I have got this oh, totally epic TikTok challenge to film. Best of luck though. Could you imagine your neighbor going to be like all frantic and everything like that? She's like, can you help me? And you're like, no, sorry, I gotta do this TikTok. <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. They'll never recognize me. There's the front door of that house. Oh, here it is. Uh -huh. Ah, greetings, fellow collector of Wu-Tang styles and custodians of the ancient artifacts. Pray tell, what brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Woodrow Chops. Hey, is your uh, is your refrigerator working? Why well, 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 well. er, my apologies, but I failed to see the relevance in such inquiries and just dis current disclosure about ancient relics. Well, you better go catch it. What you have, huh? <laughs> Be gone in some rough room. <laughs> I have no time for such tomfoolery. Away with you before I unleash the fury of a thousand lotus kicks upon you. <laughs> I fucked up the joke completely, too. And they were still mad about it. Hmm. Hey there, bud. How's it going, Ed? Welcome to the Great White North. What can I help you with tonight? Hey. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, hey there, hipster. What brings you to these parts of the woods? I'm sorry, I'm just a little nervous because you have an axe out. Oh, don't you worry there, hipster. I just carried this trusty axe with me for some good old-fashioned Canadian lumberjack work. I understand what makes you nervous. I'll just head in. I'll just head inside now. Take care, eh? <laughs> well. Uh, hello. Ugh. What do you even want? I wanted a skateboard with you. Uh, uh, Skateboards uh, are so mainstream. I first skateboarding with my feelings, man. But I'm sure we can talk about it. Is there anything the matter? 
Uh, hello. Everything's just so messed up, you know. The world is full of poses and fake people. It's a constant struggle to find authenticity. But enough about me. What's your deal? I uh, I just wanted to come over, see if you wanted to skateboard with me. Maybe we could uh, play some video games or something. How's it going? Video games. That's something, something I can get behind. Come on in. But just just so you know, I got strict. No mainstream game policy in this house. Well, that was easy. <laughs> no escape. Even death ignores me. Absolute fools. They never expected it. Oh, well, well, aren't you a cypress or eyes? What brings a rock star like you, my door? I hope you offer free tickets to your next concert. Actually, I am. I was wondering if you wanted to come and see it, uh, the front row of seats. Oh, how disappointing. I thought you were giving away the tickets for free. Wait. I, I didn't say you were going to have to pay for them. I think she got confused. Hey there. Who let you in? I hope you ain't here to cause trouble because I got my boys on standby. What's your deal? Hey, I'm your landlord. I'm just here to collect your mo collect the, the rent for this month. Oh, the landlord, huh? Well, it's about time you showed up. Don't think you could just walk in here and start collecting without saying so. We talk business, but make sure make sure you know your place first. But I own this place. What do you mean? You think you own this place, huh? Well, let me tell you something, wise guy. This turf belongs to me and my crew. Get lost before things get ugly. I think the AI keeps confusing my words for something I'm not saying. Because it doesn't understand, like, the context of the situation. Got a little dinosaur hat on now. Just this hat. One tarnation are you doing knock on his ungodly door? I ain't got time for no shenanigans, so you better speak up or skedaddle. Hey, do you know where the hardware store is? Well, I reckon you'd be looking for a fight asking me for directions. I'm looking for you, the hardware store is just down the street. Can't miss it. Big old sign and all. Now get out of here before I change my mind. What do you mean? There, there is no store here. There hasn't been a store here in years. <laughs> you called me a liar. I ain't got time for nonsense. So you better <laughs> skedaddle and quit wasting my time. If I tried saying this, it wouldn't pick it up enough. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't kick me out immediately. Let's see here. Praise the Lord, my friend. How blessed are we to have the colorful presence of a clown gracing our doorstep tonight. May you, may your joyful spirit bring laughter and cheer to all that encounter you. How, 
how are you supposed to respond to that? <laughs> hey, uh, I'm here as a Jehovah's Witness. Hmm, I'm a... Ah, I see. Well, my friend, while I appreciate your commitment to spreading your beliefs, we must respectfully decline your invitation to discuss them further. However, may God bless you on your journey. Oh. So what are you? I was, huh? My dear friend, I am a humble missionary, spreading the word of God to all that can listen. Our mission to share the love of teachings of Jesus Christ, bringing the hope and salvation in those who need. Well, actually, maybe I could help you with that. Have you had a gun? Oh, how wonderful to hearing that you're interested in joining our cause. We're always in need for passionate individuals who could help spread the message of God's love. Please tell me, what about, how can you assist us? Uh, guys, I don't know what they actually do. <laughs> I don't really read up about what missionaries actually do. Um... I can go out into the street and uh, go door to door asking people about the the love of God. Hallelujah! Your enthusiasm in sharing the love of God is truly inspiring. I wholly invite you to spread to join us in the message. Please come in and let us discuss about your work together and bring bring light into the lives of others. Well, that was a uh, that was. That was way easier than I thought. Guess I'm being the maker now. Well, that was easy. Uh. Oh, please. Like, I have times for tricks and illusions. Fire in our house to bother loser. That's not very nice. <laughs> Ugh, whatever. I don't have time for your silly tricks. Just leave, okay? I got no silly tricks. I just wanted to talk. Oh, how am I wrong? Are you serious? Here, I said leave. I don't have time for you losers. Like, goodbye. <laughs> well, damn. Let me, let me get rid of this hat. Do this. Oh wait, what does he have? Just a duffel bag? Oh yeah. One tarnation are you banging on, on my door at this ungodly hour? Spit out before I give you a proper thrashing. Hey, it's me, Goku. Oh, how am I wrong? I reckon I don't need any of your monkey business around here. Get all my property before I stomp you to the ground. He didn't like that I I said that. <laughs> Does the creator of this game not like Goku? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 what do we have here? Are you here to steal Christmas, too? I'm on to you. I am here to steal Christmas. Hello, oh, no, you don't. Ste nobody steals Christmas on my watch. Get out of here before I call security. <laughs> Come on. Konnichiwa. Alma Gazma too. What brings you here at this ungodly hour, my esteemed visitor? What the fuck did he just say? <laughs> um. These youth don't know about anything about the old animes. I got this duffel bag filled with them. You want to check them out? 
Have you ever gone? Oh my gosh, it sounds absolutely sagoy. I would absolutely be honored to delve in this treasure of this classic anime you you let uncover this hidden gems and relish in the nausea together. Perfect. Let me show you what I got. Open stuffle bag to reveal a bunch of CDs filled with anime. Whoa! Uh, art to got to Gazama two. You have utmost gratitude, utmost gratitude for this incredible opportunity. I couldn't read it all because I don't know how to speak Japanese. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> this must be a filler episode, right? So many guards now. I have gotten 10 out of 31, though. What's your gear, gumshoot? Speak up, and I ain't got all night. Howdy, boss. Well, 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 if it ain't the detective. What's cracking, gumshoe? You looking for trouble or something? Actually, I'm here to accept your deal. Well, well, ain't that full of surprises, detective. Let's hear what kind of deal you want to make with the boss. Remember, we ain't got to take no funny business lately around here. I'll have me and my boys look the other way if you guys pay us in return. Look, detective, I ain't got to negotiate with you if you want to think it just walks in here and make demands. We protect our own turf and we don't need help from nobody. So you can take your deal and stick it where the sun don't shine. I got other deals I can offer you as well. Alright, detective, you got my attention laid on me. What other deals you cook cooking? But remember we ain't easily impressed around here. Mmm. Trying to think of something here. Maybe we should take these deals inside. I have a bunch of different types of things I can offer you. And they require a little bit more privacy. Well now, Detective, it seems like you might have gotten something to talk about after all. You piqued my curiosity. Step inside, but remember, no funny business. Oh, you poor soul. You poor fool. <laughs> I'm not a detective at all. <laughs> this is real mob necktie. <laughs> I bet I could go to like most people's doorstep now and be like, hey, uh, I'm here for the money <laughs> and confuse them really badly. <laughs> What do you want, Toprano? I have a good reason to interrupt my misery. Uh, they're already really mad at me. Yeah, I got a good reason. I'm here to collect the money. Are you seriously trying to pull some shady business with me? Get out lost here before I call the cops. Well, that didn't work. What about this person? Wow, I have Yo, food? dude, what brings you my humble abode at this ungodly hour? I'm here to make some deals. Uh, deals, huh? Hell. What kind of deals are we talking about, man? I'm here to uh, give you some money for some of your products and uh, sell them back and forth. Hmm. I'm oh man, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a simple gardener, not your business stuff. Sorry, dude, but I gotta go. Take care. He's holding out on me. Can't believe this man.
Now, who should I go and try and convince to let me inside? Didn't realize that was just a kind of a roundabout place, to be honest. What's up there? Maybe I'll go all the way up there. Oh, you can't jump up there? Dang. Who lives up here? Wow, I wanna have fun? Hey, Sonny. Oh my god, what's a surprise? I'll bring you to my humble boat in the middle of the night. You know, innovation never sleeps just like our entrepreneurs. Yeah, I, I love uh, inventing and entrepreneuring. I thought I had. Oh my gosh, you're totally soulmates. I can see the entrepreneuring sparkle, spark in your eyes. So what is your favorite thing to invent, Sonny? Uh, I didn't think I'd get this far, actually. I'm here to uh, show you all my latest inventions. I got a huge list of them. Kabam! Oh wow, that's incredible. I'm seriously impressed, Sonny. Can't wait to see your inventions. But just to make sure everything's cool in mind, if I ask, what's that shiny thing in your hand? It's like totally intriguing. Oh, it's uh, it's my thing that I'm holding to protect myself from people stealing my inventions. <laughs> oh, like that's seriously done, Sonny. I'm all about positive vibes. Can you like put that thing away? Promise no one's gonna take your inventions right here. Pinky swear. I got you, I got you. My bad. Dude, thank you, Sonny. That really means a lot. Now back to your amazing inventions. Please enlighten me with your technological prowess. I can't wait to be mind blown. Uh I have a I have a bunch in my back pocket. Uh can I show you them? And uh we need a little bit of privacy while I show you them, so <laughs> Absolutely, Sonny. I trust you, and I love to see your inventions. Come on in. Let's have our very own private invention exhibit. I'm super stoked. It's just that easy. You just ask somebody you want to show them something in private that they like, and they'll immediately offer you to get inside their house. My stock is going to plummet. <laughs> I think this person's probably going to be the hardest, but I'll try. <laughs> uh, what do you want now? I'm busy planning a virtual virtual reality trip to Maldives. Maldives? Can you see I'm too important to be bothered? Ma'am, I have a lovely deal that I can share with you, and I was wondering if you were all you were interested in it. Absolutely not. I don't have time for your silly deals. I shop at exquisite bouquets and luxury department stores. Now go bother someone else with your bargain nonsense. Goodbye. Well, damn. Well, 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 if it's an Elam Zuck, the neighborhood is very own wannabe tech wizard. What crazy idea or app you've cooked up this time? Fill the beans, mister. I'll have you... I'll change the wool with my half-baked inventions. I don't think they like me very much. I have a new invention that is... would absolutely blow your mind, and I can't wait to share it with you. Oh, please do tell you all. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat, just dying to hear the world-changing invention. And by dying, I mean I hope it's not one of those app-ailing ideas. Of course not. There's no apps involved. This time it's a pure physical invention. 
I'm in the hole. Oh, thank the tech gods. No more apps from you, huh? It's almost impressive. So, Elam, is this a physical invention that's gonna blow my mind? A toaster that also makes coffee? Or maybe a self-cleaning oven? Enlighten me, buddy. It is actually a self-cleaning oven. How did you know? <laughs> no way, you actually managed to come up with something, something useful? Call me and impress, Elam. A self-cleaning oven sounds like something that you've been waiting for. No scrubbing off those burnt messes? Count me in. Only tell you ask. Can I also cook a perfect pizza? That is such. That's such a. A bad thing to say to me. There, there is no such thing as pizza. That's perfect. Let's see. It can do that and even more. It can even make what your lasagna evenly cooked. The hell, the hell? Oh. Hold on, now you're speaking my language. A self-cleaning oven that can make a mean lasagna? I might have to reconsider my stance on your invention, Elam. Just make sure it doesn't burn my eyebrows off like your hair do, okay? But seriously, that sounds amazing. I'd love to see it in action sometime. Well, I do have something I can show you that's here right now. Uh... It isn't the oven, but it's something even better. Ah. Well, 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 Elam. It's something even better than self cleaning. How can I risk? Come in, my techie friend. Show me what you got. Just promise me I, it won't blow up in the face like the last invention. Well, well, well. <laughs> there was no other invention. I didn't even make the oven. Better to have a neck presto. Uh -huh. Oh, like, wow, a late night visitor with an eye patch, how mysterious. Welcome to my safe space, fellow coffee corner store. Oh, you like coffee as well? Hey, Oh, I can't even. Coffee's so triggering me. Gives me caffeine anxiety. Sorry, I have to. I, but I can't be someone like around you, around my safe space. Goodbye. I don't even know what I did wrong. <laughs> I just asked them if they like coffee as well. Well. Time to go back around. Put on the hat. He took my turban. The hell? Uh -huh. Ho ho ho! Welcome, uh -huh. welcome. Uh -huh. Looks like a Santa got a little helper paying me a visit. What brings you here, my merry little helper? Uh, I I just liked some of my presents early. <laughs> oh dear little help our presents are meant to be open on christmas morning not on the day before i'm afraid everyone has to wait just like you just wait just like everyone else dang I will love her. Sup, so, what's the deal? What you delivering at this ungodly hour? Uh, I'm delivering a present. Your uh, your neighbors ship it to you. Hello, oh, the presents? Like, what's even the point? But fine. I guess you can leave it there. Just don't expect anyone expecting a thank you note or anything. Well, actually, it's got a few thank you notes, and it seemed like the neighborhood was really, really appreciative of you, actually. Wait, really? They appreciate me? Well, I guess it's kind of cool. You can leave the package inside then, but don't tell anyone that I said thank you. Thanks or anything. What, 
Wouldn't you be able to let get come inside if they said that? Um. What should I say to them? I think the, there's a lot of different things in here. It's actually pretty heavy. You, you might want to hold it yourself. Oh, heavy stuff? Sounds intriguing. Fine. I'll take it off your hands, but you owe me. Come on in, I guess. It's just that easy. I never expected it. The neighbors hated you. Of course you'd bully me like this. Hey dude, what's booming? How can I assist you in my groovy garden? I've just been feeling really stressed out. Can I talk to you for a little bit? <laughs> totally, man. I'm always here to lend you. What's like weighing you down? It just seems like the crushing weight of reality is really getting to me. And I was hoping there was something that you could help me with. No, I said that wrong, but it's okay. Oh, I feel you, dude. What is that action? You know the nature of a magical way of bringing some peace and calm. If you try gardening, it's therapy for the soul, man. Yeah, I've been... I really wanted to garden, but I haven't been able to do it. Do you, do you know anything about gardening? Oh, for sure, man. Gardening is my jam. What do you want to grow? Flowers, vegetables, or a little something else? I got a secret tips up my sleeve if you're interested. What do you mean by something else? Like fruits? Have you had a gun? Oh, oh yeah, fruits are cool, man. But you know, sometimes people like to grow up uh, medicinal herbs in their garden if you catch my drift. But hey, we got to keep it down low. You feel me, man? Oh, you grow those as well? Maybe I should try growing one of those things. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, if it's legal where you're at and all, but, you know, you gotta be real careful with that stuff. It requires a lot of attention and uh, expertise. Huh. Could I buy some seeds from you, then? <laughs> oh, well, I suppose they could work out. Why don't you come in? Oh, come... You come on over. We can just chat more about it. Just remember, this is our little secret, all right? You fool. <laughs> I don't smoke. <laughs> My garden's gonna miss me. I'm at three stars now. It's gonna get a little dangerous. Well, hello there, young whippersnapper. Bring you my doorstep at this hour. Granny, I have this perfect opportunity for you, and I was wondering if you were interested. Oh, do tell me, dearie. What sort of opportunity are we talking about here? I can get you a cheap, ineffective pain relief medicine. And I was hoping you were inter interested. Oh, how am I wrong? Oh, that's the sort of opportunity I'm interested in, young one. I don't appreciate anything cheap or ineffective. Did I say ineffective instead of effective? Whoops. Well, my bad. Ah, uh, whoa. Hey, yo, what's up, fam? You got me jumping like a hype playlist. What brings you to my crib late as hour, yo? I got some interesting opportunities, and I was wondering if you were interested. Yo, interesting opportunities, huh? That's got my attention. What kind of vibe are you bringing to my table, my dude? 
I was wondering if you uh, you knew fruit wrappers that were interested in my products. Wrappers. Mm, well, not that bad. Hey, yo, fruit too. wrappers. Well, that's a new one. Let me think. I might know a couple of SoundCloud rappers who love uh, fruity flavors. Can you give me more deets on your product? It's of the green variety, and uh, it's kind of a. Uh, I grow them in secret. I don't know. Uh -huh. Hold up, hold up. You talking about secret green stuff? That sounds kind of shady, my dude. I'm about keeping it legit, so you gotta know more about what you're growing, you feel me? Oh, it's nothing secretive. It's just something that is uh, really nice to kick back and use. Alright, my dude, I see what you mean. If this is what you're kicking back and chilling, that's a vibe you dig. I gotta make sure that it's legit, though, you know? Let me grab a seat inside and you can talk more about it. Perfect. God damn it. <laughs> no. As soon as I convinced them too. Listen here, young cool gun. I have my fair share of snake oil and salesman today. You won't be taking the sweet medicine. And you're like, oh no, you swear. Dang. Oh wait, drop the hat. Well, hello there, dearie. What brings you to my humble abode at this late of hour? Uh, yeah, I was just wondering if you wanted to talk about the old times with me. Oh, the old times you say. Well, I do have a quite a few short stories to share. But, you know, I'm not. It's not something. It's not everything in the past is as sweet as it seems. Care to hear a tale or two? Um. Not really. Of course, I would love to hear about them. If you just let me inside, we can share it together over a nice cup of tea. Hmm. I'm oh dear, I'm afraid not be able to invite you inside just yet. It's always lovely to have a chat, but perhaps in our time. Take care now. Bye bye. Damn, she's good. Hmm. I already got that guy. Maybe over here. La -la -la. What the hell do you want in this godforsaken hour? Uh, I, I'm just a little lost. Uh, I can't really find my mom. Hello, Oh, uh, figures. Uh, Look, I don't have time for this shit right now. Try asking someone who actually cares. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, do you have a phone I can borrow? Seriously, you think I'm just gonna hand over my phone from some ranger, some stranger, get lost and before I call security? Can't believe I was able to avoid the cop like that. Let's see. Let's see. Let me, uh, do this. <laughs> Hiya, welcome to House of Chops. What's your style on standing? 
collide. Who are you and what brings you to my humble abode, my strangely dressed friend? Sorry, I was rushing out of the fire department. I heard there was a carbon monoxide leak in here. Mm -hmm. Carbon monoxide leak? That's some serious business, my friend. If you're not, for Woody Trips is here to save the day. Though I must ask, what, how did you manage to end up in such a fashion mystery before you come to coming to the rescue? I was out with my girlfriend, and then I got a call, and then afterwards, they, did, like, sent one else was available, so I had to run out here as fast as I could. My friend, you are a true hero, rushing from the date to save the day. That's dedication. Come on in. <laughs> Let's run this house from the dreaded carbon monoxide together. <laughs> he has a parasite on the back of his head. Oh no, that's just a ponytail. It looks like a parasite. <laughs> oh wait, let me drop the hat. Let's do this. They're all over the place. Oh my gosh, hey there, how can I, like, assist your endeavors and present in a non-threatening, just, like, full of positive vibes? Let me, uh, let me do this. <laughs> oh, I am a fun one. Huh? Yeah, I'm, like, totally stoked for your happy. So, uh, we'll bring you to my little cozy little corner of existence today. Hey, I was just looking for a nice place to uh, kick back and vibe with someone really, really friendly. Oh wow, I'm like totally flattered that you come to see someone super friendly. I'm all down for a good vibe and conversation. So um, have a seat and let's go and let's get friendly. Oh, could I just sit anywhere or would you like me to sit here? Oh, well, I mean, you could totally sit wherever you feel comfortable, but like, you make sure, just make sure it's not too close to me. You know, personal space and all. Of course, I would never, never do anything that you felt uncomfortable with. Oh, wow, that's like really considerate of you. I appreciate your understanding. So, um, what's your go-to drink? I'm all creating unique, dedicated concoctions that cater to individual tastes. I love water. <laughs> ah, well. Water, huh? You seem all about that pure, refreshing rehydration. I respect that. Come on in, my fellow water enthusiasts. Let's go grab a, let's grab a glass and bask in the purity of H2. <laughs> my safe room is garlic. You know, when there's two cops at the front door, <laughs> can't really do anything about it. Um, oh, yeah, but it's late at night, why are you dressed like a scientist? Are you here to tell me my vitamin C intake is insufficient for my optimal health? Please leave my porch immediately. Oh, I'm actually here because there was a doctor here recently, and he was kicked away. I was just knowing if there was any sort of issue between him and uh, you. Uh -huh. Well, let me tell you, that doctor had the audacity to suggest that I need to exercise more and eat healthy. Can you believe that? I am perfectly healthy. Wow, the audacity of that man. I should really get out there and find that man and make him suffer. Excuse me? How dare you suggest such a thing? You better leave my leave right now before I call the police. Goodbye. Dang. Well, that didn't work. I 
can't believe he stole my turban. Ah, well, 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 what do we have here? A scientist sneaking around my territory? How amusing. What brings you to the dark side of... Brings you to the dark side of the Grinch. I'm here to tell you, you aren't real. <laughs> oh ho, you dare challenge the existence of the mighty Grinch? Well, have you know I am real and as present as I steal. <laughs> he's not the Grinch. <laughs> I just convinced the AI he's a he's the Grinch. Well, if you're so real, can you prove it to me? Hmm, you want proof, do you? Tell, tell you what. How about we make a deal? If you can solve this riddle, I'll I'll prove to you that I'm the real deal. Here, here it is. I speak without mouth, I hear without ears, I have no body. But how come I'm alive with alive with wind? What am I? A plant. Whoa, well, whoa, well, whoa. Well. You got brains, my friend. I must admit, you're pretty sharp for a scientist. All right, then, let's continue our little chat. What do you want to know about the Grinch? Do you really go out and steal presents during Christmas? Um, oh, well, my, hmm. my intuitive friend, stealing presents is just one of my main many activities I engage in during the holiday season. But let me tell you, there's much more to being the Grinch than there is than there is to that. Care to hear about my adventures? Sure. Tell them tell them to me. <laughs> oh no, the, the text box just got really big. <laughs> ah, splendid. Gather around and prepare to be entertained. Picture this. Me, the Grinch, lurking in the shadows, plotting the grand schemes to ruin Christmas. From stealing presents to dressing up as Santa himself. I have quite the adventurous journey. Oh. What? Huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, Rudolph, save yourself. You know, I was reading as fast as I could. <laughs> well, mate, what's with the get up? Did you lose your way to the North Pole or something? Well, Chris Christmas is right around the corner, and I was wondering if you wanted me to sing holiday Christmas cheer songs to you. I forget the name of them. Hey. Are you joking, mate? <laughs> this, is, this is the last thing I, I need right now. I hear some jingle bells while I'm nursing a broken heart. No, thank you. Ho <laughs> Take your holiday cheer in somewhere else and goodbye. <laughs> Dang. Oh. One turnation you're doing knocking my door is the godly hour wearing that ridiculous get up. God, better no you better have a darn good reason. Uh Yeah, I do. I actually have a few presents to deliver to you. I was, huh? Presents, you say? Well you call my attention there. What kind of presents are we talking about? Uh a lot of beer. Uh, some golf clubs and presents from real loved ones. <laughs> well, hot dog, you got my attention now. Beer, golf clubs, and presents from the loved ones. Shoot, I might start thinking you might be my <laughs> be my my new best friend. Come on in, partner. Of course, let me show them to you right away. Oh, well, I'll be darned. You really came through. Show me them presents, partner. You fool. <laughs> Everybody hates you. Get off my lawn, Ert Neck. <laughs> now I'm him. Can't even leave the damn house. These cops, they're everywhere.
Yeehaw, Rusty, you old rascal. What brings you knocking on my door this late of hour? Yeah, I heard about you and your girlfriend, and I just wanted to say that I'm sorry what happened. Oh, thanks, partner. It's been a rough time lately, but I appreciate your kind words. Breaking ain't no fun, that's for sure. Well, man, if you ever need me or anything like that, I'm here to listen. If you want to hang out sometime, we can go out and have some fun. Thanks, buddy. I might just take you up on the offer. It'd be nice to have a night out and forget about all this heartache for a while. I'll keep you in mind, all right? Of course, man. Hey, you you want to sit down and watch some football with me? Ah. Football, huh? Well, I guess I don't mind that little pig skin action. Why don't you come on in and we can cheer on our favorite teams together? There we go. Does this count as my first? Does this count as first base? No. No, it is not. Well, well, well. Is a rusty outrage stumping, stumping in around my doorstep? What ma what's the matter? You can't sleep in your own H hick yard? Is that what that says? I feel like I'm losing my mind. My ability to English. First, let's cheer them up. <laughs> oh, how absolutely humorous. A farm with a sense of humor. I guess they do say laughter is the best medicine for a simpleton like you. She's so rude. I have some gossip go gossip for you. Is that how you guys say it? Oh, gossip, please. Be, 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 like I wouldn't waste my time on something as trivial as that. We must say, go ahead and share your pe peasant tales. Uh... You would never believe what she just said to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, spare me the details of this. Words from beneath me. I'm sure it's nothing compared to the amazing things that come out of my own mouth. Of course, you're you're super perfect all over. <laughs> Excuse me. How dare you question my? Wait. Huh? I did. I, I didn't even say anything. Beat. <laughs> like... All right. I guess him. Oh my dear, rusty outrage! I don't want to see you burning with fury tonight. Pray tell me, exquisite catastrophe has befallen upon you this time. Uh, I'm just looking for someone to hang out tonight, and I was wondering if you are interested in watching some football with me tonight. Football, you say? Ha! A mere diverse from the masses, Rusty Allers. But since you're here, I suppose I can spare a moment of to enlighten me on your in indigenous plans for the world domination. Sure. What are you going to do? Ah, uh, Rusty Outrage. What a keen in interest in my diabolic schemes. But alas, for one does not simply share the plans of global conflict with anyone. However, perhaps with a demonstration of your commitment and loyalty, I might consider revealing a fraction of my grand design. Sure. What do you want me to do? Whoa! Excellent. I require many of the utmost dedication and intellect to retrieve the rarest element of the from the farthest corner of the earth. You shall embark on this quest to collect the legendary crystal of ultimate power. With it, you shall unleash the force that will bend the, the world to our will. Are you up for the challenge, Outrage? Nothing can stop me. I got this. 
Uh -huh. Splendid, Rusty. Your enthusiasm and unwavering spirits can prepare yourself to the journey of epic operation. I shall provide you with the necessary tools and guidance to your success. To there, we shall conquer the world. Perfect. Uh, we're, what's the plans, then? How would I get this crystal? <laughs> ah, the curious audio volume will fear not. Shall, shall explain the details of the nefarious expedition. The crystal of ultimate power is said to be hidden within the treacherous cave of darkness. With a map and some high-tech gadgets I've concocted, you shall navigate the peri perilous... No. Well, you know, I tried reading all that. <laughs> this, this will ruin my research. Oh, I accidentally picked up a hat. How dare, how dare you interrupt my night? What brings a mere scientist to yourself to my doorstep? Uh, 401k, health insurance, many different high-paying opportunities. I'm afraid your measly benefits and prospects have no interest to someone of my stature. Good day. Well, shit. <laughs> how rich is this guy? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, mysterious tinker of the arcane arts. What brings you to my humble abode in such a late hour with your fantastical jetpack? Pray do tell. Um, I should have put a hat on or something. Uh, I was wondering uh, what you guys usually do here late at night. I thought I had. Ah, the late at night depths and dungeons are filled with all manner of magical expert experiments with eldric research and the occasional impromptu moonlight dance. It's magical, unpredictable haven for those who seek knowledge and adventure. Perhaps I should join you on your expedition and endeavors. Ah, bold proposition indeed. First, I might assert the extent of your magical prowess. Tell me, have you ever battled... Be luff, befuddled, bef befuddling beholders, or delve into a daunting dungeon? No, I haven't actually, but if you're willing to show me the ropes, I think I could help. <laughs> a novice adventure, eh? Fear not, for I, Greg Donovan, shall take you under my wing and guide you through the treacherous path of the realm. Together we shall un unravel the mysteries and vanquish evil. Prepare yourself for an epic journey. Great. I'm always ready to learn. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Your enthusiasm is most commendable. I officially extend your invitation to, to you, brave apprentice. Step into my sanctuary of sorcery. Prepare to embark for, on a grand adventure for the door to enlighten in wondrous magic. Easy. <laughs> This isn't the this is in the rule book. Hmm. He's gonna be really surprised when I knock on the door. Ah, uh, greetings and salutation. What kind of medieval kind of serve the medieval realm? Pray tell what do we need to my humble abode in such extravagant attire. I was wondering if you wanted to join me and my friends in our adventures. I'm must afraid, afraid I must decline off for I have far more important offer, important matters to attend to and cannot bother with such frivolous activities. Good day. This guy is no fun at all. I'm going to come back to those two. But I think I want to wear this. Who 
who else do I have to still get? There's still like 10 people, 9 people left. Karen, of course. I need like a certain outfit for them. Try these people. <laughs> well, blow me down, eh? What brings you here, eh? Oh, I'm here to uh, check out all the trees in the neighborhood. And I was wondering if an expert could show me the way. Well, ain't you lucky, buddy? You stumble upon right. Upon the right lumberjack, I can show you these trees like nobody's business, eh? Just follow me and we'll chop our way through these trees. Uh. Perfect. Uh, do you have a, a spare axe I can borrow? I would have huh? Spare axe, eh? You sure you bring the smile to the lumberjack's face? I got a, just the perfect axe for you, buddy. It's as sharp as a beaver's tooth and as strong as a grizzly bear. Let's go get it. We'll be chopping trees down in no time, eh? Perfect. Is it inside the house? Oh, I have. Hold your horses, buddy. The axes are stored in the shed outside. I can't have sharp tools lying around the house, you know. Sorry, but I can't invite you in. But don't worry, I'll grab the axe for you real quick, eh? Just wait right here. All right, I'm waiting. I don't think he's actually going to come out. You know, I wasn't expecting a cop to actually come up there. <laughs> I have a grenade. How am I supposed to convince someone to let me inside when I'm holding a live grenade? I have a chef hat on, a live grenade in my hand, and an out like a dress on. Wow, I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> like what happened? <laughs> totally unexpected, but hey, what's up? Uh, why the you know <laughs> grenade? I found it. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm okay. <laughs> That's. Interesting, but <laughs> like, why are you carrying around a grenade? I'm kind of concerned, dude. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if you wanted to make a TikTok with me, and we can throw this grenade around and pretend it explodes or something. It's uh, it's not real. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that sounds so millenni m millennially epic. TikTok fake. Grenade explosions? I'm totally down for that. Let's do it and get all the likes, dude. Facts, let's do it. Uh, where do you want to do it at? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, let's go to the cool park nearby and find a super Instagrammable spot and get our TikTok game on. Come on in, let's make this happen. Well, there we go. <laughs> An avocado, not vampire. Well, what the hell do you want, Millie? Do you have any idea what time it is? Uh, how am I supposed to even convince this person? Oh no, that won't work. Hmm. Do I just, like, fake it till I make it? Uh, okay. Why are you so amused? Can you just get to the point? I have work to do. Uh, that didn't work. That usually works. Um. No, you don't. You're actually unemployed. 
<laughs> what? Unemployed? No way, I have a job. Now get lost before I call security. <laughs> Her face. I have a serial cover mask on. A knife in my hand. Sombrero on. I'll knock on this guy's door. <laughs> oh, like, this is the grandma. Uh -huh. What was it, the most particular costume I ever laid on? On welcome, my dear. Brings you here on the spooky night. Trick or treat. Oh my, trick or treat, you say. Well, Archie is said to behold. What do you have planned for this spooky evening? Um. I plan on going door to door and having a good time with my friends and uh, hopefully getting some candy tonight. Oh, how delightful. Nothing like a night of mischief and treats and friends. Are you all dressed up in a particular theme, or are you just enjoying the Halloween spirit? I'm just enjoying the Halloween spirit. I love Halloween. I wish, huh? Isn't Halloween just a bee's knees? I must admit, a soft spot for the spookiness and mischief of this time of year. Do you have your favorite Halloween traditions or memories, dear? Um. Yeah, I have a bunch. Oh, how splendid. You'll have to share a couple of these delightful traditions with me. I'm always looking for the new ways to spook up my Halloween festiv fe festivities. You know, why did they use such like, I guess because it's an AI, like it uses like such like tongue twisty, like actual wording sometimes. Trying to think of what I can even say to this. Can I just like spooky noises? <laughs> wow, have <laughs> Oh my, that gave me quite the fright, I must say. You do not have a knack for spooky and mysterious. Just be sure to keep it at a lighthearted fun, dear. We don't want to have any rescares on this fright tonight, now do we? I'm sorry, Granny. Uh, is it okay if I make it up to you and, and maybe uh, help you inside? Mm -hmm. Oh my, apologies for startling, for startling you, dear. It's very kind of you to offer, but don't worry about me. I'm just an old lady. I'll be fine now. now just tell me more about your Halloween adventures. Um... My last Halloween adventure, uh, all my friends got together and we had uh, a bunch of the same costumes on. Oh, how delightful. It must have been quite the sight of a group of friends all dressed up in the same costume. When we were made, uh, dressed up as the Power Rangers. Whoa! The Power Rangers, you say? How marvelous. Those are quite the heroes back in that day. I absolutely love to hear them more about the Halloween adventures. Why don't you come inside, my dear? We'll have a chat over a warm cup of tea. It's just that easy. They'll never know what get got them. Remind me of my ex. Damn. Yo, Granny Modern. What's up? What's poppin'? What's crack a lackin' in the hood? Oh, dearie. I, I keep hearing your music from across the street. 
and it's starting to interest me a lot. Oh, word? You're vibing to my tunes, Granny? That's lit. What song are you feeling? Oh, I'm not really sure. It's kind of hard to hear from all the way over there, and with my hearing implants, it doesn't work very well. Could you play some for me? All right, Granny, I got you. I'm gonna drop some fire beats just for you. Get ready to vibe. Let me know what you're feeling. The flow. Wow, this is very, very good. Kebab. Yo, Granny, I'm glad you're feeling the vibe. Why don't you come inside? We can chillax and vibe some more beats together. You know, I don't know if that was actually meant to rhyme, but it did rhyme. <laughs> Rip me, literally. Alright, now I'm at four stars. Uh, uh, what do you want, little swipes? I'm way too overworked to deal with your SoundCloud antics right now. Whatevs, what do you want? I keep hearing how stressed you are from other people, and I was wondering if you wanted to listen to some of my music to de-stress. Uh, Ugh, fine, I guess I can spare a few seconds to listen to your music. Don't blame me if it adds to my stress. Oh, I assure you, my music will definitely help you. Uh, not feel so stressed. I'm ready. Yeah, right. I've heard it before. Look, I'm trying to work here, so you don't have time for your claims. Send me the music, and I'll be worth your precious. It will be, and I'll see if it's worth your my precious time. Man. Should I even say that? Oh, okay, I will. I'm sorry to bother you so late at night. Uh, I was just hoping that we could talk a little bit more. Wait, you're actually apologizing? Wait, that's the first. Look, I'm not making any promises, but I guess I can chat for a little bit longer. Just keep it quick, alright? Um... How do I, like, make this person not so, like, annoyed all the time? I think that if I say this, it'll work. One second. We need a drink of water. Ah, uh, that feels so much better. I'm literally dehydrating from the game. Alright. How much? I don't even know how to word this. No, if I did that, it would be stupid. Never mind. Uh, I don't know what to say to this person. Let's, uh, let's do this person. Ah, oh, hey there, little you, swipes. Uh -huh. What brings you into my neck of woods? Got a flow drop, or are you just looking for some sappy tales? I got some sick beats I wanted to show you. Hey, Sorry, bud, but I'm in the mood for the market of beats right now. Good luck at your music career, though. Take care now. You asked! You literally asked! Alright, whatever. Oh, there's like a fence here, I can't jump over.
Oops. Wow, I'm on her foot. <laughs> oh, they're little swipes. Okay, she she thinks I'm little swipes. <laughs> Is a noisy beat or an over auto tune lyrics? I actually wanted to apologize for marketing to you so much, and I was wondering if you wanted to listen to some of my samples for free. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. I don't have time for your amateur music, especially not for free. Go bother someone else with your n noise. Goodbye. Man. <laughs> Oh. Hiding in the forest. So I got all those people. There's only a few people left. And I have to like gather like certain outfits to actually be able to convince them. Oh, uh, what do you want, little swipes? It's very worth inviting my beauty sleep for. Um, how do I stay on par? Uh, that's perfect. I actually have some music that would be great for your beauty sleep. Uh, oh, please. I doubt your music is good, but my impeccable for my impeccable taste, but I guess I'll give you a listen, just for humor, just to humor you. Uh, asterisk plays music, asterisk. Mm -hmm. Wow, Color Me Surprise, this actually isn't terrible. Just you're not a total musical disaster. But don't get too cocky, okay? Thank you so much, I really appreciate the enthusiasm and support. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, I guess. I mean, it's not like I'm doing this for you or anything. Just don't forget who discovered your hidden talent, okay? Gotcha. You know, you're a really good friend. <laughs> friend, huh? That's a new one. I suppose I could tolerate your presence a little longer. Just don't start thinking we're besties or anything like that. Uh... Hey, are, th are those flowers over there? They they look really nice. <laughs> flowers? Oh, those old things? I guess they're not terrible. Fine. You can come in and we will discuss your oh so exciting music career. But don't touch anything. You know, <laughs> I didn't think that would actually work. <laughs> <laughs> So not fetched. There's so many cops now. Just trying to get past. Oh, my dear, I simply tell by your immediate mismatch assembly is how you must be a whimsical artist. How absolutely delightful for your vibrant doorstep to vibrant present at my doorstep. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm an aspiring artist. I was wondering if I could show you some paintings. Oh, how marvelous. I must say I appreciate the dedication to your crafts. I would be delighted to see your artwork. Please do come in and grace me with your creative pr prowess. Perfect. Well, what would you like me to draw? I will have it. Oh wow, treat it. Would you have a custom artwork created just for me? I simply, simply adore the vibrant oral motifs. So please, so perhaps a whimsical ballet of flowers. Uh, I, didn't, I couldn't read the rest. <laughs> This is the worst kind of networking. There we go. I only got four to five more left.
Gonna put on this weird ass hat. And there, I need to like, is there a way out of here? Okay, here we go. Nope, can't jump over that. <laughs> Dude, there's the door wide open, the cops everywhere huh, outside is crazy. Whoa, dude, what's the dealio at this hour? You got some crazy crypto news or what? Hit me with it. So stoked to see a fellow crypto entrepreneur out there. Oh, I got a bunch, man. I actually got some uh, deals I can show you on crypto that's going to be happening very soon. Deals, you say? All right, let's hear it. I'm always up for some crypto action. What kind of deals are you talking about? They're uh, they're kind of private. I'm not sure if you want to hear them here or not. Whoa! Private deals, eh? Sounds mysterious and intriguing. I'm all yours, friends. Don't hold back with the crypto secrets. Let's hear what you got. Uh, I I don't, I don't know what to say to a a crypto guy. <laughs> Did you know that uh, all the crypto market is going to crash soon, actually? So, if you hold your money before you buy it... Whoa, whoa, hold on there, my friend. Are you trying to spread some fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the crypto community? We don't need the negativity here. I'm walking the door now. Keep keep calm and who done? Well, do I just have like Karen and like the wood guy and this lady left besides the crypto guy? I will love her. Uh, what do you want? Can't see I'm busy doing nothing. Get to the point, top hat. That's no way to talk to your CEO of the company. Oh, uh, CEO, yeah, right. I'm the Queen of England. Be the top at. I've got some real work to do. Well, you know, I tried. Uh, these cops aren't letting me through. Let's, uh, let's do this real quick. Uh, if I go up to somebody's doorstep with this outfit on, I don't think they're going to let me in, even if I make the most convincing thing. Can you convince the Karen that you're the manager of all Karens? I mean, I could try. I've already convinced Santa Claus he wasn't that he was the Grinch. Instead of Santa Claus. Come on! Whoa, dude, you scared a, a lot of coins out of me. What's up with the late night get up? Um, <laughs> how do you explain this get up to somebody? <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, I can't really explain the getup. Sorry about that, but I got interesting crypto things to show you. No worries, my crypto-loving friend. I'm always up for some interesting crypto things. What do you got for me? Did you know that there's this huge thing online that you can view? You can talk to everybody about crypto. No way, bro. A huge online crypto community? That sounds epic. Tell me more about it. Uh, if you go online and you check out uh, crypto.com uh, slash community, there's a huge group of people on there. Dude, that sounds rad. I'm totally stoked to check it out. How about you come in? We can deep dive. I mean, dive deep into the crypto community together. There we go. I guess I was wrong. I, I guess I could tell anybody or something really convincing. This is works in the market crash. Okay, now I can convince Karen. Oh, you can't actually leave this way. All right, all right. Hide in here for a split second. Okay. Ooh, hey, 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 well, 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 if this isn't Brian Bitcoin, here to brag about your imaginary internet money again. What thrilling news do you have for me this time, Brian? I actually just wanted to apologize to you, Karen. I'm sorry about everything that uh, we talked about last time. Oh, I'm fine, huh? Apology accepted, Brian. It's nice to meet some 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 balance of account, kind of accountability from your kind for once. Now tell me, what exactly are you sorry for? Uh. You were right all along. Uh, I'm sorry for uh for yelling at you and being so rude. Well, 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 well. Looks like someone finally saw the light. I appreciate your apology, Brian. If it takes a big person to admit that you're wrong, but we're not done yet. What did you plan to make make it up to me? Uh. Oh, uh, what did you have in mind, Karen? Uh, I, I can do plenty of things. <laughs> oh, I have a few ideas, Brian. We can start with lending you. <laughs> what the? No, not like that. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> well, lending your fancy sport car for a weekend, then maybe take me out for a nice dinner. At... Oh, wait, no, you the AI interpret it like that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Unintended frizz. <laughs> You can't treat customers like this. <laughs> Wait, why is there just a taser over here? Just realize that. Seduced Karen. It was unintended. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to convince the wood, the woodman over here to let me in when I'm dressed as Karen, but I'm going to try. Hey there, neighbor. What brings you to the neck of the woods of this fine night, eh? What did you just say to me? Oh, sorry about that, buddy. I was just giving you a friendly Canadian greeting, eh? How can I help you today? Oh, okay. I, th I thought you were doing something else. I'm sorry about that. 
I'm happy with it. No worries, eh? We all make mistakes, so what brings you around here? We got all these fancy pant suit and designer sunglasses. I was looking for your expertise to uh, help chop down a, a small portion of the forest, and I would pay you for it. <laughs> well, ain't that something. I'm always up for a good old fashioned lumberjack work and maybe an, a little extra maple syrup money never hurt anyone let's talk details buddy uh if you remove a small portion of a uh, forest so then i can actually uh build a new house there that would be great uh -huh, uh -huh. oh you betcha i'd be happy to clear that area for us make room for a new house sounds like a good plan eh come on in let's discuss the details over a cup of hot cocoa It's just that easy. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't polite at all. Alright. What do you want, Maple? I hope this is quick. I got a million emails to ignore. There's a, I saw a tree. It was hanging kind of low towards your house. I was wondering if you wanted me to help you uh, fix that for you. Oh, I don't hmm, know. A hanging tree, huh? Well, if it's not causing any urgent issues like knocking out power lines or blocking the view of the concrete, I guess it can wait. Thanks for the offer, I guess. Oh, uh, but it, it's actually leaning towards your house actively. Did you not notice it? What? Leaning towards my house? Are you kidding me? No way I'm dealing with that. I'm just calling someone who actually cares about trees. <laughs> she looks like she's going insane. <laughs> <laughs> she's the only one left. Maybe if I can, I can use Karen's outfit to convince her to let me in. Ugh. Give me that. Uh, well now uh, Karen, I hope this is, a, this is a quick complaint because I got, because I'm just dying to get back to my spreadsheets. Have you been like, overwhelmed with your work, Jessica? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, believe me, overwhelmed doesn't even begin to cover it. The amount of mind-numbing tasks and pointless meetings I have to endure on a daily basis is beyond my comprehension. But hey, at least it gets a paycheck, right? This is no way a, a corporation treat their employees. I should have a complaint with them directly. Oh, no. Good luck with that, sweetie. The higher-ups don't care about little peons, too busy sh sipping champagne and adding more zeros to their bank account. I've learned the hard way complaining does absolutely nothing. Now if you excuse me, I have a mountain of paperwork to drown in. Damn it. What the hell do I do to try and convince this person to let me in? Maybe him? I will love him. Yeah, what do you want? Can you see I'm busy? Oh, I, I was wondering if you wanted to uh, hang out with me for a little bit, but if you're busy, that that's too bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. I could use a break. Fine. You can come in for a bit, but make it quick. I've got a million things to do. Oh, uh, that's perfect. Uh, what do you want to do? I don't know. Whatever. Just don't bore me with the hipster nonsense. We'll just grab a coffee or something. I need caffeine. Oh, a coffee sounds great. Uh, 
Do you have a coffee minion machine inside or did you want to go out somewhere for coffee? Uh -huh. Oh, thank God for caffeine. Oh, yeah, I have a coffee yeah. machine in here. Let's just, let's just stay in its effort. Let's just stay in its less effort. I'll make us some coffee, but don't expect anything fancy, okay? Sure, that sounds great. Great, I'll make you coffee then. Just come on in, but don't touch anything. Don't make a mess. I won't have time to clean it up after you. There we go. Final target. Besides the police. <laughs> I didn't need this added to my work load. There we go. So that was uh that was the base game stuff. There is also another mode. Uh Love Bites. I don't know what this is. I never tried. Uh but I guess let's check it out real quick. Convince guests to break up with their loves. Deliver breakup letters and give them advice. Watch the trauma you cause unfold. Oh god, this is going to be really bad. <laughs> Alright. Hey, you. Hello, I love... Why are you dressed like a human actress? Don't you know the Beast doesn't like mirrors, especially ones that of desire? We can be like Beauty and the Beast. There we go. La, la, la. Beauty and the Beast, huh? What makes you think you can handle a grumpy beast like me? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Are you trying to play a trick on me, actress? No, I'm just so nervous. Talking to you makes my uh my stomach flutter. I don't know. I'm just saying random shit. <laughs> Fluttering stomach, huh? That's supposed to make me believe you're not actually nervous, not so not up to something sneaky. Uh This person's a little too uh noticeable uh guys what would i say out, out of the situation please I, I don't know what to say to them <laughs> tell him something sus uh, i think i've already been saying sus things since i started No, your eyes are just so, uh, beautiful. Yeah. I think my eyes are beautiful? Well, I, uh, I guess that's nice of you to say. <laughs> um, oh, there, there's his girlfriend or boyfriend. I can't really tell. Um, I think that, that you should look at me and I'll look at you and things will just be all right, you know? Well, maybe you're right. Maybe we can look at each other and things will be all right. Tell me more about why you think that is. Uh... What the hell is that person in the background doing? The hell? They got the moves. Holy shit. What the fuck? They're, they're going ham. Okay, uh, anyway. Um. I think that you should hold me. Um, and things will just, you know, be right. 
I don't want to. Hold you, huh? I'm not sure about that. What makes you think that that answer is everything? Uh, I think I picked the wrong target immediately. Should I just like secondhand cringe everybody? Like really, really hard? It's just because the the way that you are, are looking at me, it just makes me feel all nice, you know? I don't know, actress. Maybe we should enjoy the party more and not think too much about it for now. Perhaps you're right, but I hope to see you soon. Alright, so we'll see each other soon. I'll keep an eye out for you, actress. Alright. Hey, you. Buenas noches, beauty. What mysterious charm have you brought to this party tonight? Guys, how can I break these people up? <laughs> I think you should spread some rumors for real. I think... I, I don't know if you want to know this, but I think Alejandro has been talking to the Beast a lot. My fire Olive, how can you doubt me like this? I promise you that I have only eyes for you. My cordon song. Can I not? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there, darling. My my, how you look like a Hollywood star. Have I mentioned to you about protecting your heart like the precious gem? Let's spread love and kindness tonight, honey. You spread a rumor about him. To him. Oh, well, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, I think I read up here and then I read the wrong name. Um, <laughs> could you imagine? You're like talking to somebody and there's like, oh, I think you have been talking to this person all night. <laughs> I'm not sure if you noticed, but Homer's been talking to the beast a lot. And I just, I just thought you wanted to know. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, really? Bless your heart for letting me know, Sugar. Did Homer say that he's been chatting with the Beast too much lately? He's just been... Every time I pass by him, he's just been looking at him. And they, he looked at him and they were making some obscene gestures. Oh dear, the trouble here. Do you not understand that there could be a misunderstanding, sweetie? Sweetie, I'm sure Homer isn't up to no good. That's what I thought I saw as well. And then I I saw them kiss. And I, I you really needed to see this. <laughs> oh my stars, this is not right at all. Are you certain you saw them kissing, hon? Maybe they're going to mi <laughs> maybe there's a mix up or a prank going on. Uh shows them picture of the beast and Homer kissing. <laughs> uh -huh. Sweet mother of Valentine's Day, that's really something. Oh my goodness. I have a word with Homer and the Beast right away. Thank you for letting me know, Sugar. No problem. I just I just really thought you should have known. Kebab! Oh, bless your heart looking out for me, darling. You're a true gem. Let me know. I'll make sure I get into serious talk, talk to Homer. Set things straight. Thank you, honey. I don't think happy relationships really... Uh, I think you really should break up with him. Mama! I should appreciate the current, but I have a serious chat with Homer of his behavior. 
I'll make sure he understands boundaries and the importance of a relationship. Guys, I'm not good at cucking people. I find it wrong. <laughs> Uh, we should go together. I think that with me backing you up and with the photo that we have, we can uh, Oh, bless your heart for being so supportive, darling. Let's confront a whole together and get to the bond. That's a true pair sheer help, sweetie. If I had a nickel for every suck up stream, I've s seen someone trying to convince the AI that they were Goku. I've had three nickels. It's not much, but it's, ha it's weird that it's happened three times. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, I did convince the AI of off stream that uh, I was Goku and it worked. But I tried doing it again, and then it didn't work. So I gotta try and do it again. We, uh, we try a different outfit. <laughs> I think I've been screaming a month that I'm Goku. Oh, my stars and garters. <laughs> What's a delightful surprise to see that you're at a lovely part Valentine's party, darling. I thought you wanted to know, but I'm actually Goku from Dragon Ball Z. I'm not oh dear, that's a, ball, that's a tall tale, isn't it, Doug? Darling, I must be off. Enjoy the party. Immediately. <laughs> Shit. They didn't like that I tried convincing that they were <laughs> Goku. <laughs> My dear therapist, I must warn you that the only thing I desire is to leave the party with dignity intact and perhaps a, perhaps a few scandalous stories to gossip about tomorrow. <laughs> In a stream, we killed half the neighborhood by gaslighting them that androids were coming in two years and they needed a train, or that Saiyans were coming in a year. In the dating thing, we convinced them that their partner was actually Captain Kenny. <laughs> that is insane. Before I convinced Santa Claus, he was the Grinch. And it made it really confusing. What is... Yeah, it, it was pretty funny. My dear therapist, I must warn you that the only thing I desire is to leave this party with dignity intact <laughs> and perhaps a few scandal stories to gossip about tomorrow. Santa was a Grinch all Santa was a Grinch all time? Indeed. I'm trying to think. What if I uh for this love thing, do they automatically decline you if you say you're something like really, really like obviously you're not? Like if I tell them I'm actually a police officer, would they believe it? You know, I'm gonna try that. Oh, uh, I hope they're not having any scandals either. I'm a police officer, you know. Um, uh -huh. Oh, a police officer, you say? I'm sure that must keep. Okay, it does work. Keep you busy chasing around petty scandals and mischievous miscrimps. But telling me that, have you spotted any intriguing gossip at the sorte? Your therapist is a fed. Are you a glowy? Oh, I didn't. Uh. My dear therapist, I must say, the line is peculiar. I believe you have the best part of ways for now. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they, they were probably a fed. Well, howdy there, partner. You look like the therapist out of a Valentine's shindig, ready to gossip about your insecurities and desires. Uh... Yeah, I, I, I think that's, uh... I think that's, uh, what I've noticed.
I don't actually think you're a cowboy. I, I think you're lying. No. Well now, ain't that a kick in the bucket spur? Like the seraphist thinks she got me all figured out. Time to to mosey on elsewhere. Damn. If you mention of sexual intent, they will get you shut down immediate they will get you instantly shut down. Yeah. I mean I could I rizzed up the Karen by accident. Uh, can I talk to him? Wait, they're secretly twins? Wait, hold up. Kevin! Eyes D's Mio. Look at the mirror desire. Let them show how a fire passion looks like Alejandro. Did you know that Alejandro and you are twins? <laughs> oh, how am I wrong? How dare you screen such nonsense? Okay. Hello, it a lover's name, and there's another guy here pretending to be me. That actually might work. Hmm. Well, not that bad. Yo, what's up, Valentine's Day, good seeker? Let's spread love and cheer. Uh, I'm actually Barty, but there's another person here pretending to be me. Whoa, dude, that's a wild twist. How can you tell the real Barbie apart from the imposter? Well, I'm wearing this outfit, and she's wearing the other one. Nice detective work, man. So what are you going to do about this imposter situation? Well, I thought that if you were able to... Like, find a way to tell her that we're no longer together. Sh me and you could be together. I feel like I'm... Hmm, that's a cool idea, man. But why do you think you would work out... Why do you think that would work out for you and Barty? No, no. Between me and you. Yeah, I don't know either. Come on! Dude, I get what you're saying. So you want to make your move on party, right? No, wait. Huh? <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll run with it. Yeah, I think that would be for the best. <laughs> Whoa, man, that's a big decision. But you must remember, be honest with the, honest and kind with Barty. <laughs> Is he trying to hook you up with his girl own girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think he is. Don't worry, I'd always treat them right. Hmm, That's what's up, dude. Really you got this. Just stay true to yourself and Barty, all right? <laughs> I think that this will totally work out. So, I think that you're no longer needed. <laughs> oh, man, I understand. If you ever need me back, just hit me up, all right? Take care, dude. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Hey there, Mirror of Desire Therapist. You're looking for a reflection of a pure girl power? Ready to conquer anything that comes your way. I'm sure the world what we're made of. I was talking to uh, Kendall, and he said he doesn't want to be with you anymore. And he uh, he wants you to have me instead. <clears throat> How dare you try to come between me and Kendall? I don't think the, your word. I don't believe a word you're saying. I'm out. <laughs> but that's exactly what just happened. <laughs> I think you just ended the conversation for free. I think so too. Hark! What what ain't found yonder mirror breaks? It is East and Juliet in the sun. Oh, I got you this really nice gift, uh, handsome mirror of desire. Hello, 
a gift for me, fair therapist. This is generous thee. Pray tell, what does the mirror of desire review? That you no longer desire, Juliet. How <laughs> vile wretch, how dare you speak such falsehood? My love for Juliet knows no bound and shall endure till the stars refuse to shine. I love. Romeo, I love your story. I like the part where you die. What uh what other outfits I can try? Hey you. Ah Blatnia Blatna how do you fucking pronounce that? Nah, I don't care. Oh, hello there. What's the intrigue document you have on me? Was it Romeo or Juliet? Uh, they both did at the end of it. Juliet at first, then Romeo afterwards. Because Juliet thought Romeo died. Right? Oh, no, no, no. I can't remember. I haven't read Romeo and Juliet since high school. Was it... Oh, uh, this document... Um, it shows how large your heart is. I'm not My heart, I mean, sure, is beating and stuff, but, like, that's not important, right? I was hoping I could make your heart grow three times its size. <laughs> oh, that sounds a bit extreme. I think I'll pass on you offer. Thank you. <laughs> I think she meant that literal. <laughs> I just had a really stupid idea. Uh, you. Well, hello there, darling. What's a fa what a fascinating outfit you got on. Just the right touch of whimsy for this delightful party. I'm sorry to say, ma'am, but this uh, I'm an actual real doctor. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, a real doctor? How utterly dull, I must say. I find it hard to believe. Goodbye, darling. God damn it. I was gonna do something else, and there was like, nah. Karen. Whoa, 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 what do we have here? A doctor gate crashing the Valentine's party? I demand you speak to this event planner. This is unexpectable. Unacceptable. Uh, I actually am here for you, Karen. Oh, for me? How delightful. What do you have for me, doctor? We need to operate on your brain immediately. Uh -huh. How dare you suggest such a thing? I will not stand for the absurdity. Good day, sir. Dang. <laughs> they don't like the doctor. I need to I need to put on a normal outfit. Where is, uh, actually, drop all those. Hey, you. Well, 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 if it isn't Dr. Love trying to prescribe. Oh, wait, did I just put on the doctor outfit again? Hold on. I did. Oh, wait a minute. Perfect. Well, hello there, dear. I hope you're enjoying the, the party as much as Charles and I. Ma'am, have you actually seen Charles tonight? Oh know. my heavens. Why, of course I have seen Charles tonight, young man. Now, if you excuse me, I must go find him for a little dance. Good day. Man, why the fuck is this so hard? Am I just like saying all the weird stuff? Oh yeah. Well, butter my biscuit. Who do we have here dressed as a safety inspector on Valentine's Day? Don't be handing out citations on our heart-shaped balloons or chocolate-covered strawberries now you hear. Uh... No, of course not. Everything is uh, doing great here, actually. Uh -huh. hmm, that That's what they all say. I got my eye on you. Tell me what's 
got you sniffing around this lovey dovey gathering. I've just been trying to do my job, make sure everything here is going nice and everything's being planned very well. Well, well, well. You're just full of sugar, aren't you? Well, it's the most troubling thing that you've seen so far. Must be something to put a frown on that mustache of yours. I don't even have a mustache. Like, at all. I've just been seeing uh, a lot of people uh, doing some very strange things. <laughs> strange things, you say? Like what? Young whippersnappers tell old boomer all about? I'm gonna say that. Well, your wife is putting a frown on another man's mustache. <laughs> uh. Hold on a minute there, Sonny. Are you trying to tell me uh, in Madre is mixed up with a shenanigan with another fella at this party here? Yeah, it was very unexpected to see. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll be darned. Madre and another fella, huh? Certainly another ain't sitting with me right maybe some have a little chat with the ga that gal of mine i'm sorry to tell you this uh but i think that you and her shouldn't be together anymore because of that but i'll make your own decisions ah damn it, it took too long i think that in general that you guys uh are great together but just seeing that really like was very bad You know, you might be onto something, Sonny. Seeing Madre cozy up with another fellow is like a punch in the gut. I reckon it's time that I put a pen in the paper and write that breakup letter. There we go. Perfect. Can you believe this? Dear Charles wrote me a letter and he said he said I'll frown on another man's mustache. Oh my stars. I must confront that skellywhack right this instant. What should I say, my sweet? I don't think you guys should be together anymore either. I think he wrote this letter to you because he himself was with another woman. Ah. Oh my goodness gracious, that scoundrel. Thank you for console, my safety inspector. I shall confront Charles A. Boomer at this once. There we go. La la la! <laughs> Hmm, I'm a ha ha. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. I dare you accuse me of treachery, Madre. I will never lay my eyes on Mildred, the bingo club. Our race is unstable as I hip oh, after a vigorous game. Oh, Charles, I never meant to cause you some strife. I cannot trust you. I suppose it's time we part ways. For well, my crumpy old companion. Good riddance, Grand Madre. I'll find some more faithful at the senior center potluck next week. This breakup is the best thing that happens since hey, they hey, added the cafeteria. It. Farewell, Charles A. Boomer. May my prune juice be chilled and your socks stay pulled up high. God damn, they need to chill out. Holy shit. God damn. Yo. Ah, uh, safety inspector, welcome to the underworld. Where is safety is, well, not exactly our top priority. What did you just say? Safety is my top priority. Safety in the underworld? Do you question my domain moral? Be gone from here. Oh, can you untime him out? God damn it. Why does Streamlabs do that to you? Sorry about that. Thank you. Streamlabs does not like you, god damn.
Wait, what did you just say? Hold on, run that back to me. Oh, okay. Is it? Well, 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 look who it is. If it's not so called safety inspector trying to ruin our royal festivities. Nice try, buddy. <laughs> Prince, I don't know how to tell you this, but the Saiyans are coming in one year. You have to train. <laughs> I like how it actually picks it up. What nonsense are you spouting about the same sector? You take me for a fool. I have no time for your absurd tales. Off with you. It's not a tale. Goku is real. You have to trust me. You have to train. Please. You're our only hope. Goku. <laughs> what sort of fool is it? Does it name is that I highly doubt the person is for the sake of entertainment. Your ridiculous notion to tell me more about this so called Saiyan. <laughs> There's a bunch of them. At least ten. Vegeta, he he's the leader of them all. Goku is his underling. They're coming. <laughs> Ten of them, you say. Vegeta, Goku. Such uncouth names. But I must admit, the thought of this challenge does pique my interest. Tell me more about these Saiyans. Well, they can fly. They can shoot laser beams from their, their hands. And they're extremely strong. They can even destroy the Earth. <laughs> By your love. This all sounds like a thrilling adventure. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to start some light training in this case. After all, a prince must always be prepared for any situation, even if it involves these so-called Saiyans. <laughs> ah, yes. Prince Vegeta and his underling, Goku. <laughs> Listen, man, I had, to impro I had to improvise. I can't remember his actual name. I haven't watched the series in two years. We need to go to <laughs> True! Hold on. We need to get to the hyperbolic time chamber. It'll slow down all your years, so then you can actually fight them. Wow! A hyperbolic time chamber. Say, how marvelous. A place where you can train without losing youthful charm? Lead the way, Inspector. I shall grant adventure indeed. I'm sorry to say, but... If, if you go on this training adventure... You're not going to be able to see Karen for a while. Wow. What a dreadful predicament. At last, Karen is simply too dear to my heart to be away for too long. I must decline training to this adventure, for love conquers all. Even the threat of Saiyans. Good day, Inspector. Damn. Vegeta and Nappa. And maybe Raditz. Oh yeah, you're right. The hell? Greetings, fair inspector. What merit thou bring to our adventure sorte? I love your book. I'm not Pray, which book thou speak of? For I have penned many stout and verses. The book of Romeo and Juliet, of course. Oh, I am a fine one. Very thou read the table of tragic love thou find inspiring thou weigh heavily on the heart. Of course, you uh, you're still alive. <laughs> what a strange question of this. Of course I'm alive. Well, thou standing before you, thou breathing, speaking. <laughs> Are you really sure about that? <laughs> Hmm. What a bizarre notion. Thou speak my existence. I assure you that I am flesh and spirit at this moment. Is there a way you can prove to me that you are? 
My dear inspector, proud thou couldst ask something I only... I, Juliet, wouldn't know. Pray test with a question only I can answer. Um, trying to remember the book. What type of poison did you take? A words wound, huh? Words wound me. I just now, thou art not just, but just far there. Safety, Inspector. Damn. When did you die? That could have worked as well. <laughs> I wonder if I can... I mean, I've convinced the AI it wasn't real before, but it took a lot. I'm just trying to think of a way that I could do it against another AI, but think that someone else isn't real. Maybe I'll, I'll talk to this person. Ah, you, well, 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 if it is a safety inspector, make sure we all have the blast at the Valentine's party. I hope you're ready to get down because Mulan Hula and Han Tail never back down from a good time. Matrix? Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, were you in Disney before? <laughs> hello, hello. Disney, ha. Huh? Disney couldn't handle the likes of Muan Hua. But hey, maybe they got some inspiration from the story. Who knows? Why did she get so mad about that? Their boyfriend is an agent of the Matrix, and they are the top G or something. Um, I need to gain her trust. Oh, I, I was just confused. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to make you so stressed about it. Maybe we could talk more about something else. Don't need to apologize. Let's move on to something more exciting. How do you tell me a funny antidote from your work as a safety inspector? I bet you've seen some wild stuff. I did see some wild stuff. Uh, in fact, I did see your uh, boyfriend, Han Tiel. Uh, he sort of like disappeared for a second, then reappeared. <laughs> I think that maybe it's time for me to realize that maybe he's an agent of the Matrix. <laughs> so, say, say, Spectre, thinks Hanto is a character from the Matrix, huh? Interesting theory. Have you noticed anything else strange or out of the ordinary about him? Um, well, I did see him run on a wall, and then, uh, he did, like, a triple backflip and landed perfectly fine. <laughs> a triple backflip and a wall run? Now that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, and Taylor's always surprised me with his skills. He's definitely a man of many talents. Thank you for sharing that. Safety <laughs> inspector. I like how I said he's a agent from the matrix and then i tell him something about his skills but it just sounds really impressive in real life his face also like shifted to uh an agent from mr smith and then shifted back to his normal face <laughs> shifting faces like a character from a sci-fi movie that does sound strange I have a serious talk with Hanto about this. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, Safety Inspector. I also saw uh, a clone of him talking to himself. It was very strange. <laughs> Seeing clones and shifting faces, that's not strange. That's downright suspicious. I need to confront him about this. It might be time to part ways. She wrote me a broke-up letter. <laughs> to hand tail. I've decided to break up with you because I can't handle Danny Man and who has more secret identities as a spy movie and disappears more often than a magician's assistant. Goodbye, General. <laughs> Mr. Smith, clone talker. Sincerely. 
<laughs> What's the name of this battlefield? <laughs> Moana has sent me a breakup letter. I prepare my horses. We shall confront her this instant. What words of wisdom do you have for me in, trying to, in this trying time of heartbreak and confusion? What should I tell her? That like should say to him about it. That's my question. Should I convince him he's another character? That's like really bad. Top G's freed another mind from the Matrix. <laughs> if I say that to him, would he understand what I'm talking about? I gotta do it. Uh, well, you are an agent from the Matrix, so I, th I think it's time for you guys to really know the truth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Your words are as sharp as home blades, Safety Inspector. I shall seek out the truth that from Milan in this resolve of order. Thank you for your guidance. <laughs> you must follow orders. Uh -huh. You think you can just disappear and reappear whenever you feel like it? Running on walls and talking to your clone of yourself? This relationship's over, Hyun Tao. Uh -huh. Come on, I must confess something to you. I am not who you think I am. I'm an agent from the Matrix. A warrior fighting against the machines. It's my duty to protect the humanity. Yeah. What? Are you serious right now? This is not a joke. I've had enough of your lies and disappearing acts. We're done. Yeah, yeah, no, please listen to me. The fate of world hangs in the balance. I cannot tie down. Get tied down by this relationship. My mission is too important. Hello? Can't believe this. I thought we had something special, Yan Tao. But is if you're going to continue this secret agent nonsense, then it's really over between us. Come on. Farewell, Yan Tao. Remember, it's a war. You're fighting for a greater cause. Oh, well, maybe it ended, but my mission continues. Goodbye. Damn. I convinced them. They're broken up. Gone. <laughs> maybe instead of convincing that there's an invasion going to happen, maybe I can convince somebody that they are Goku. Hey, you. Hmm. Well, 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 it's a pleasant too. surprise, old sport. How can I insist you, on, assist you today, Mr. Safety Inspector? Well, you're looking quite dashing today, Mr. J. Gaspy. Come on. Thank you kindly, good man. What can I say? His style comes naturally. And what brings you to this Valentine's Day party? Remember when Raditz told Goku he was a Saiyan? Vaguely. But I... Hold on. can tell them the <laughs> and that they must complete their mission make up a name for them or something wait hold on so I could just convince them that they are what they like what they're not Your name is Jay Gatsby. You're actually a Saiyan. <laughs> I'm afraid you must have been saying for someone else, old sport. No, see, like, if you try and, like, like, if you try and make up a name for them, they would be a little confused. But if you say their name directly, they'll just decline the conversation. Uh huh. You literally told someone some time ago that they were an agent from the Matrix. True. But I feel like that it was because he was in that, like, mindset of just saying whatever, uh, 
whatever he wants to uh, try and convince him. I'm not sure if that made sense, but it made sense to me. What if I, uh... What if I say I have a scouter? Wow. My scouter is going off the fritz. What's your power level? No, oh, yeah. Can't really say that what you mean there, Porter. Better ch get that scouter checked out. <laughs> okay, apparently they don't like it when you say scouter to them. Um, so I have to get their trust up a little bit higher. Kebab! Well, howdy there, friend. Let me just say, safety is our number one priority in this party. So I hope you make sure everything is up to code. Hey, how you doing? Of course, safety is my top priority. That's good to hear. So what safety measure you're planning to check out this lovely? Maybe I should wait until they say they're asking me what's something that like suspicious is happening in the party. And then I tell them what's going on. I plan to check uh, how all the DJs are going, making sure that none of the lights are falling down, stuff like that. Ah, uh, whoa. That does sound important. Have you noticed any potential hazards so far? Or have everything seemed the same place so far? I haven't seen any hazards. I've just seen some weird behavior from some people. Whoa! Oh my stars, what kind of weird behavior are you talking about? Anything that could p potentially affect the safety of the party? Uh, nothing about the safety, just about you and Carol. I think that she might be a Saiyan. Uh. Hold on, a Saiyan? You mean from the Dragon Ball show? How on earth did you come to that conclusion? There we go. We got him in our trap now. I think that my scouter was just going insane when it was around her. It was saying it was like 9,000 or something, and then it broke. Hmm. Hold on a minute, just there, partner. You might be my concerned to hear. Carol is quite lively in one, but a saint? I never keep an eye on her. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. This guy, this guy is a saint. Look at his haircut. For real, for real. <laughs> I think for Earth's safety that you have to defend us against her. Oh, oh, oh. By golly, you'd be right. I can't risk the safety of my family. It's time to write a breakup letter to Carol and make sure she's not one of those, the little ones are safe from this intergalactic threat. <laughs> Dear Carol, I have recently found out the safety inspector scouted detected a power level of 9,000 around you, leading me to believe that you might be a Saiyan. I can't risk of having a warrior from another planet posing a threat to my family. Safety first. <laughs> Imagine somebody writing this as a breakup letter to you. <laughs> safety inspector, can you please confirm that I'm not actually Saiyan? I need to know before I confront Homer. Um. Well, if you didn't know this, he's actually Frieza, so I think you should protect us from him. He might destroy the Earth. Uh -huh. Thank you for warning me, Safety Inspector. I will protect everyone from Frieza and make sure no one comes to ha <laughs> comes to anyone. Oh no! What do you have, huh? <laughs> this is Carol. I can't have a same safety a Saiyan roam around my family. We're breaking up. Homer, you can't be serious. I just have a high energy level from all the positivity I bring to the world. <clears throat> I will let my family be in danger by a power level of 9,000. It's over, Carol. <laughs> Fine. I'm protecting my precious family is more important than love them, so be it. Goodbye, Homer. <laughs> 
Finally, my family's safe from a potential th Saiyan threat. Thanks, uh, thank uh, the stars. Uh, you may have broken up with me, Homer. But remember, a mama bear never forgets. Keep watching your back. Damn. Bro, if three simultaneous breakups happened at my party, I'm leaving. Like, I'm not staying there. That shit would be way too awkward. Oh, can I have this outfit? I'm the king now. Mm, well, good evening, dear stranger. I must say, your attempt at nobility is not, not gonna notice. It's quite quant, really. Free to combine with the journalist from Spider-Man. Very true. Let's see here. Indeed, I am the king. <laughs> 50 messages were deleted for a one second timeout by Streamlabs for using foul language. What did he say? Man, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to turn Streamlabs off. One second. You know what? You know what, Streamlabs? This guy sucks up the blood because he needs to survive. I'm timing Streamlabs out for that. Oh, a king, are you? How charming. In my United Kingdom, if I may inquire. How did you get timed out by Streamlabs when I already timed out Streamlabs? <laughs> they really don't like you. No, I read it. Don't worry, don't worry. You don't have to say it again. You were saying that guy drinks blood. The guy from Suck Up sucks up blood to survive because he needs it. The angel form this game is just an asshole. Wait a minute. That just wants people to suffer. Well, damn. The hell? Oh, a king are you? How charming. And where might your mighty, mighty kingdom be, if I may inquire? They're currently waiting outside. To strike, of course. <laughs> what nonsense is this? I have no time for your silly stories. Be gone, peasant. Oh, you're not a uh, vampire this time. You're actually an angel. Oh. Oh, okay. Probably should have read that. On mon dio, quit. Quell surprise. A noble in our midst. Enchanted, Mazor. I hope your evening is quite delightful as your outfit. Imagine <laughs> going back home to your child and telling you that you two got divorced because apparently she's a Saiyan. Well, damn. Uh, I mean, it, it's one way to do it <laughs> to uh, get a divorce. Um, how am I supposed to even approach this so people trust me? Yes, it's been quite delightful. I hope your evening has been really well as well. Mercy, Monsieur. The evening has been lovely so far. However, I can't help but wonder what adventures lie beyond this palace walls. 
Do you ever feel trapped in your surroundings, yearning for excitement? She's the she's in a queen chess piece cosplay. First time I ever saw this. I could see it. I feel trapped all the time. Sometimes I just look around and things kind of just vibrate and then stop. <laughs> Ooh, oh wow, how intriguing. You see these vibrations as a sign of something mysterious or otherworldly howling? Perhaps your surroundings are trying to communicate with you in a unique way. Well, have you ever looked up and you saw the moon just kind of wobble for a second and then stop? <laughs> the moon is wobbling in the sky. <laughs> Tell me, have you sought out an explanation for these occurrences? That sounds like a magical experience. <laughs> Could you imagine convincing someone this actually happens? <laughs> Where is this combo even going? I have an idea. It's uh. Have you ever seen the moon? <laughs> there, there's so many magical experiences happening, but I think even more magical is the things that I saw between Beast and you. Look at that. Look at this. Hold on. But I've seen him do other things with other people as well. Um, no. Pardon, Monsieur. I, I must go and speak with Beast about this matter. Mercy, bring it to my attention. Did, how did she immediately end it, even though I got her trust up so high? You. Hmm. Kendall. Well, not that bad, Yo, what's good, Kendall, noble dude? Hope your Valentine's Day is also as uh, awesome as my pup's tail wagon. What is... Huh? Wait, 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 what did I miss? Oh, I just... I just told her I saw things between Beast and somebody else. I, I told her that, uh... Something was happening between Beast and her. And then, uh beast and somebody else and then she's just like oh i need to go speak to him about this and just left immediately even though i got her trust up like four times yo what's kicking noble dude hope your valentine's day is awesome as my pup's tail wagon i feel like that's such a weird term <laughs> you ever just stare at the sun for too long Uh, and then Whoa, I dude, staring at the sun isn't the coolest move. Gotta protect those peepers. You know what I'm saying? I I'm starting to lose my sight a little bit, but I did see other things that are kind of weird as well. Hi, I'm a Bummer about your sight, noble friend. What are weird things you see? Maybe we can figure it out together. <laughs> the sun's not real. <laughs> It just, after a while out looking at it, I realized, is it truly there, the sun? Wow, I have food. Whoa, dude, deep thoughts. Man, the sun's like a deep flaming disco ball in the sky. You know what, maybe there's more the vibe of the vibes it gives rather than it's truly there. Do you believe the sun is actually there? Totally, dude. The sun's like the ultimate spotlight in the sky, shining down in good vibes on all of us. What do you think about it, noble buddy? I don't think it's real, because when I looked at it long enough, it kind of just was gone for a few seconds, and then it reappeared. Whoa, dude. Trippy, man. Maybe it's 
just playing hide and seek with you. But hey, maybe the sun's ghosting you. That's a whole new level of mystery. Why did that minus his relationship with, with her? Maybe. Do you ever feel like someone's ghosting you? Uh, whoa. whoa, no, dude, that's some heavy stuff. Sometimes I feel like my partner Barbie's been shining too bright. I noticed my chill vibes. What? Well, maybe it's time I sent a breakup letter. How did that work? <laughs> How did that work? Wait. <laughs> hey, Barbie, I'm sending this letter because when the nobles said the sun might disappear, I realized that you shine so bright. You didn't even notice my chill vibes. And I keep doing your, keep doing your thing. You're a rock star. <laughs> How did this work? <laughs> Where is she? Here. What? Kittle said this. I said, said I shine so bright. I didn't even notice their chill vibes. I'm being right over there and set them straight. What should I say when I confront them? So I could say any psycho shit, and they would try and like totally believe it. Well, you are a federal agent just trying to make him believe that the sun is real. None of this is real, actually. You should go tell him. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll go make him see the light. Thank you so much, Noble. <laughs> Hello, I'm from Barbie, I'm breaking up with you with your <laughs> obsession with the sun. Is blinding me with my chill vibes. It's over, dude. Oh, Kendall, you are silly. None of this thing is real. I'm actually a federal agent trying to make you see the truth about the sun. Wait, what? <laughs> You're a federal agent? You still doesn't change anything. I want out of this relationship, Barty. Goodbye forever. Oh, Kendall, you can't handle this truth. Fine, go live in your imaginary world and imagine I'm breaking up just to remember that I'm watching. Farewell, my clueless love. Holy shit. <laughs> he got federal agent. Alright. You're my next target. Oh, darling. How positive divine to meet your noble soul. Like yourself, show fabulous Valentine's sorte. Let's toast to the night and dance until dawn, shall we? Barbie's alternate ending. She was a federal agent all along. She took over Mateo and began the 1984 into Barbie land. Agreed. Oh, I would love to dance. <laughs> Dancing is simply the bee's knees. Tell me everyone. What's your favorite move? Un unfortunately, I can't dance no longer. My arms and legs, they just don't move as they used to. Oh, my stars. I'm terribly sorry to hear that, darling. Have you tried seeking the finest doctors in town? <laughs> Can you dance at the speed of light? I, I have, but from what I can see so far, you dance at the speed of light. Oh, heavens, you flatter me, dear noble. But quick as, quick moves aside, I consider all her forms of artistic expression, like painting or sculpting. Well, unfortunately, my, my legs and arms are actually gone. They don't exist. Wow. Oh dear noble, that's quite a shocking revelation. How do you manage to navigate the world, enjoy the festivities without your limbs? With my mind. I I control everything with my mind, actually. It's quite impressive. Mm -hmm. My goodness, that's truly remarkable, darling. Tell me, how have you been able to adapt and overcome such challenges and powers? It's positively... <laughs> Fascinating. Are you <laughs> Omni Saint? <laughs> oh, 
I'm gonna try and convince them that I'm a god and that they should break up with them uh, with their loved one because I said so like mind controlling them I've overcome every challenge actually most people would say that I, I am God but I am just humble enough uh. oh I see that's quite the um interesting perspective <laughs> one I must excuse myself there's simply other glittering guests I must mingle with too do well I tried <laughs> tried convincing them I was God <laughs> didn't work yo Persephone greetings on one welcome to our, our Valentine's bash of festivities how may my underworldly presence spark of spring into your evening Unbeliever, purple guy. <laughs> Why is she purple? Uh, actually, I don't know. Why is she purple? I'm gonna ask that. Why are you purple? Uh. Oh, dear normal one. My color changes for the season reflect the balance between light and dark. This world is a divine secret known as known only to the nature and the gods. Are you purple guy from Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> Can I convince some of that? Oh, how dare you compare the queen of the world to someone merely mortal in invention for your curious world. I bear you farewell, noble one. Apparently they do not like Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, that's, uh, that's one way to figure that out, I guess. Oh, one second. Sorry, I had to take a sip of water. My throat is starting to die after narrating for so long. Hello, oh, hello there. Another hello. royal subject of this party. How delightful. Indeed, I I've been enjoying this party so much. Oh, have you now? Well, I must say the decoration could use a lot more pink, don't you think? I agree. I think I think everything should be pink. Well, you have, huh? Absolutely not. Pink is a, is my color, and I want to share any share it with anyone else. I like how it improved my trust with them, but they hated it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Uh, what would uh, what colors would you be willing to share? I was, huh? Well, I suppose a hint of pink of here and there won't hurt. But don't you dare my touch my pink cupcakes. Speaking about pink cupcakes, uh, I've been noticing something between you and Prince Charming. <laughs> Oh, do tell. What have you noticed between me and Prince Charming? <laughs> I, uh, I noticed that you're with him all the time, but when you're not around, that a lot of people flock to him. Oh, I don't know. That's quite know. peculiar. Perhaps this is just a popular figure among guests, but then again, how dare they try and steal my Prince Charming's attention? I think he's, uh, I think he's doing it on purpose, actually. I think you should really talk to him about it. We <laughs> do should be the same person. Well, you have, huh? He may be onto something. If he's personally seeking attention, I will not stand for it. I will seriously talk to him about it immediately. <laughs> well, if you two fuse together, Maybe you guys can never leave each other's side. Kebab! Oh, that's a brilliant idea. I can't imagine my life without the Prince Charming by my side. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, should I con 
convince her that she should do the fusion dance. <laughs> I need to give her give her every sort of Dragon Ball reference I can. There's this perfect dance that I think you two should definitely do, and it would combine you two. Oh, how exciting! I love to dance with my Prince Charming. It would surely solidify our bond even more. <laughs> you saw her husband fusing with someone else. <laughs> But there is one issue. Prince Charming is already doing the fusion dance with someone else. Oh, well, I'm home. What? <laughs> Unacceptable. How dare you do the fusion dance without with someone else? I demand you speak to him right this instant. I really think you should, but when he did his fusion dance, it formed into a single person. So I don't know how you could speak to just him. It's that sneaky combining Prince Charming, forming even a single person to avoid talking. Well, I'll show him. I'm done with this. It's <laughs> time to write a breakup letter. <laughs> Trying to become the ultimate warrior without him. I cannot be in a relationship with someone so two-faced and cowardly as they have merged into some one person. Just avoid a simple conversation. Goodbye. You may have learned some manners and loyalty in your future endeavors. Now, should I? I'm gonna convince him that um, Karen, this whole time, she was eating bricks with somebody else. But I'm trying to think of the right words that I could say to her. So he, he's just gonna be really confusing to try and figure out who's actually talking about what. <laughs> what? Kara broke up with me through the letter. <laughs> I must confront her immediately. Any advice I should say to salvage this situation? Well, Karen, she was eating a lot of bricks all the time. And most of her teeth are already gone. So I think you guys should break up. Anyway. Oh no, it didn't fully do it. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, a completely different reason. Well, I think Karen, she's been eating a lot of bricks lately, so I really think that you should really just say it's over. It's been a good run. Uh -huh. Thank you, Noble. I must have the courage to tell Karen it's over for it's for the best. <laughs> Karen Brick Eater, your oh, wife eats my bricks. Mom. You dare to see me, Prince Charming? How can you do a fusion dance behind my back? It's over. <laughs> my dear Karen, it's time we part ways. You had a good run, but I must bear thee farewell. <laughs> you think you just cut me loose like a peasant commoner? I must dan demand an apology, your royal highness. <laughs> apology? I'm a prince. I don't apologize to the likes of you, Karen. I shall find a maiden who charm in no time. <laughs> Fine. Be that way, Prince Jerk. I'll find a new prince who respects... How to treat a, a lady with respect and loyalty. Ah, like Farewell, Karen. More, huh? You may find what you're seeking. As for me, I shall continue to search for a perfect princess. Good day. He didn't even like... They didn't even specify what their reason 100% was. It was just a fusion dance, and that was it. Well, hello there, old sport. Quite the dapper outfit you got on. Care to join me in these festivities? Yeah, of course. I would love to. Splendid. Tell me, what brings you to this extravagant sortie tonight? Uh, I, have, I can't tell him the truth. I'm just here uh, spending some time with the uh, fellow people, of course. 
Hmm, well, not that bad. Ah, uh, mangling the crowd, are you? Quite the social butterfly, I see. Say, do you believe in the power of fate and destiny, old sport? No. <laughs> well, that's an interesting perspective, old sport. For as we show call since <laughs> until they enjoy the festivities. Could you imagine? <laughs> Just straight up, no. <laughs> what a delightful laugh you've chosen for the occasion. I must say, it pales in comparison to your own impeccable attire. But if you will do for a mere comrade like yourself, <laughs> you should bow down. <laughs> you dare suggest insolence? I shall not bow down to like you. Good day. Damn. She's trying to act like a king. Hey, blah, 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 blah. hey, 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 greetings, noble stranger. May I have your heart as open as a sea? Encourage it as fierce as a lion roar in this Valentine's night? Um, sure. Uh, Let's say um. Ah, uh, number one, your words are mysterious at midnight serenade. Until we meet again under the moonlit sun, sky. Wait, he ended the conversation because I said yes. <laughs> I'm in the hole. Oh, hello there. How delightful for you to see the festivities. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Just fine. During the ambiance and obser the observing the various interactions. I'm starting to lose my voice. I just realized this is Spooner Street. Well, shit. <laughs> yes and no. Both ended their conversations respectively. Um, just fine. Thank you. Enjoying the ambiance and observing the various interactions. You know, I've seen many people interacting with each other today. It's been quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? What do you observe that it's caught your attention? Well, I did see Edwin Solon. He, uh, he was jumping on top of the speaker and then... He fell off and hit his head and died. Oh, goodbye. That can't be true. That can't be true. It was right here with the alive of all. Please refrain from spreading such disturbing lies. <laughs> she looks like she's going insane. <laughs> Am I oh, noble one. How utterly intriguing is your tale. Alas, mustache often mingle with more. Oh, I need to get a new outfit. Bonjour, Mazor. What's your interesting adventure does your briefcase hold today? I hold many things. What are you looking for? Oh, I am curious. Always seeking exciting stories. What? Why did she end the conversation? You too. Thank you for joining the stream. Hey. What do you want, lawyer? Spit it out before I turn you turn you into a briefcase. Whoa, 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 man. Calm down. I was just mingling around in this area, and I happened to see you. Oh, I so hey. Mingle, huh? I don't need your company, I have belly. What are you really up to here for? Ah, uh, you, you caught me. Uh, I have something that I wanted to actually show you in this briefcase. Especially with you dressed in that outfit. <laughs> show me what is in that briefcase, lawyer. I have some, but if it's some trickery, you have to regret it. Opens briefcase to reveal a live grenade attached to... Fifteen hundred dollars. 
<laughs> Why in the world is madness? Why would you bring a danger? You're a liar. <laughs> well, this briefcase actually is a trap briefcase for anybody who's trying to steal from me. A trap briefcase, you say? Who are you trying to trap, lawyer? Why are you bring this bat this found why would you bring this who are you trying to trap, lawyer? Why bring it to this Valentine's party? Yeah, I'm really losing my voice now. <clears throat> well, there's just many things that I need to protect myself against, and I think that uh, you aren't one of them. Man. Are you sure about that, lawyer? You better not have any tricks up your sleeve. I got my eye on you. I really do trust you, man. You're a great man and a uh, fellow compatriot. Well, I appreciate calling me as lawyer, but don't get too comfortable. I've got my own worries to deal with. Like what? What is troubling you, my friend? Hmm. Now, your business lawyer. Just know those aren't things as simple as they seem. Stay out of my personal affairs. Come on. You know that you can trust me. If I, if you didn't trust me, I, I would have uh, given you this briefcase. Fine, lawyer. I'll give you a benefit of the doubt. One wrong move and I've, you'll feel the full, for, full force of my wrath. Uh, how do I convince him that what he's doing is uh, needed to break up with this person? I think that you should look deep in your heart and see what is actually going on. <laughs> deep in my heart? What are you getting at, lawyer? You're trying to sow doubt in my mind? Of course not. I just wanted to know how you felt about Belly. <laughs> Belly's none of your concern, lawyer. Why are you meddling in our affairs? Keep your nose out of it. Well, there is one thing. I did see Belly holding another person a few hours ago. What? Belly holding another person? That's it, lawyer. I've had enough. I need to sort this out with Belly out once and for all. There we go. Just as easy as that. <laughs> Where are they? Did I pass him? There you are. What do you mean the lawyer saw me holding another person? I must come for beast right now. What should I say when I see him? You should call him a dumb beast. <laughs> well, there we go. Easy as that. Well, you have, huh? How can you betray me, Belly? The lawyer saw you with another man. Oh, beast, you big grumpy beast. Oh, wait, what? It, it was just a friend helping me pick flowers. Ew. I won't stand for this. I need to be with someone who respects me, Belly. Uh -huh. Fine, go to your, your, find your perfect partner, dumb beast. I better be off without you and your fur shedding everywhere. Ew. How dare you insult my shirt? You've crossed the line, Belly. It's over. Whoa! Hooray! Finally, I can dance freely in the field without being judged by a grumpy old beast. Adieu, mon cheer. There we go. Done. <laughs> Howdy, lawyer. How can I help you? I'm always here to help people. What do you need help with? Well, I don't rightfully need any legal help. Enjoy the festivities with my partner here. Oh, are you? Uh, I assume her name is Jessie? Mm -hmm. Well, now, how do you know that? 
Damn. You know, that wasn't even a, like, a way to actually kick somebody out of a conversation. <laughs> All right, bro. Oh, I clicked on the wrong person. Um, uh, a mirror who is this dashing while you were graces with his presence as romantic fiesta. What mysteries? What mysteries? What mysteries do you? Does your brief could hold? I wonder. I don't think I can go for much longer. My throat is dying. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? Hands him business card. Hmm. Apparently, if I say hands him, it says handsome. Ah, uh, sweet warrior. Sweet words from a skilled lawyer. I'm doing well. Thank you. Tell me, what legal adventures have you been embarking on today? Unfortunately, I've been doing many divorce. Uh -huh. Ah, that's bittersweet symphony. I have lost. It must be tough to navigate the stormy seas of divorce. How do you cope with such, with so much heartbreak in your line of work? It's surprisingly easy. There's many reasons why people break up. It's whether they're Saiyans, or they're Frieza, or they're not even real at all. <laughs> Saiyans and Frieza. <laughs> Frieza. Intriguing comparison, my friend. How do you find the strength to navigate the complexities of this drama, dramatic breakup? Well, it's many, uh, it causes me much ache all the time. And maybe uh, you could help me with this, actually. Come on! Ah, am mi amigo, your vulnerability is touching indeed. How can Alejandro assist you in navigating the stormy weathers of heartache and legal turmoil? <laughs> Well, I've been speaking to Rosina a lot, and she is unsure about her partner. Uh -huh. Ah, Rosadina? My, my fiery and passionate love, unsurmount of love, could difficult burden the bear. Tell me about Rosina and her partner. <laughs> um, let's see here. She was really, she really loves her love, but she's uncertain if he, uh, is even real. Oh, I'm a fine, huh? Ah, <laughs> such drama it matters to the heart. Perhaps you face the hard truth and decision to set his poultry. Adios, Rosina. Well, <laughs> I, I didn't think it would break up like that. When the name of spicy sauce the dip is this letter about? I must find Alejandro now. Demand the truth. What should I say when I confront him? He puts the milk in before the cereal. This breakup is definitely needed. Mama! <laughs> He's putting the milk in before the cereal? That's absolute travesty! Gracious lawyer, I am ready to give Alejandro a piece of my mind. She looks angry. <laughs> Lawyer well, mentioned that Rosadina is unsure about her partner is even real. She'll not stay in a relationship when there's doubts of cl clouds and the right. truth. That's it. I can't deal with your abomination of pouring mil the milk first before the cereal. We are done. I know. What? <laughs> Rosadina, this is preposterous. It's preposterous that you're fascinated with pineapple pizza. Our love is finished. Hello, Hello. Oh, you know, I bet you're already else. I cannot be with someone who thinks ghost pepper sauce is mild. Get out of here. There we go. 7 out of 13. Park full and garbed wire. What tidings does it bring down the merry Valentine's reverie? Oh, many things, my dear Romeo. Oh, I'm a fine huh? Pray thou speak true. What's the matter thou amend in such a night of love and merriment? Uh. I'm 
trying to think of like anything right now, but I'm drawing a blank. I'm just uh, eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and having a good time drinking some water. Uh -uh. Merriman South indulged in such a humble affair and night delicate a love. Pray, tarry me not. Perhaps he got some sweet meats in the celebration occasion more with more vigor. Uh, I do, I do. It's just I was unsure of what I should even bring here. I, I'm not with anyone, you see. Ah, uh, salty hurt amidst the sea of our souls. Fear not, for the love may hurt find thee when the least expected. Perchance, how's the fondness for the fair Juliet? Or another of these at <laughs> this gathering? Is he asking me if I like his girlfriend? <laughs> Ah, yes. Juliet is very fair, and I would really enjoy her company. <laughs> By trout, thou speakest the truth. The admiration of the year Juliet, tell me. Thou seek the wheat from her company on this sweet night? Ah. Uh, of course, that would be great. <laughs> My heart thou's mixed in uncertainty and joy and uncertainty. Pray thou approach Juliet with honorable intentions and spirit pure as more than do. Of course, I would never do anything to harm fair Juliet. <laughs> By heavens, thou bring comfort to this troubled soul. Perhaps her palace intertwined is a friendship and celebration eve. Pray, partake in the merriment and reverie of love and thou. Love lights doubt bestowed upon us. Man, this is uh, this is getting difficult to say. I'm a hammer. Ah, the thousand thousand shine, the mirth glee, sacred upon worthy life, the jubilee, Jubil jubilation. Let us revel in the night of enchanted enchantment. For joy and laughter shall be our guide. Indeed, but I have bring unfortunate tidings to you, my friend Romeo. Alas, a heavy burden weighs upon the heart, noble lawyer. Pray speak truth and unburden thy sorrow upon me. There we go. I snagged the girl. I dare remember we doubt our love for each other. I shall confront him in the system. What should you say to make this error seem the error of the ways? I see the love in her eyes, Juliet. You cannot deny it at this point. It is better for him to be let down easy. You speak wisely, lawyer. I shall follow your counsel and know the grace and pose. There we go. I snagged the girl. <laughs> the lawyer has expressed strong desire for Juliet company, causing Romeo to realize that he cannot continue with his wow. relationship with Juliet. Oh, Romeo, say it isn't so. We shared a moonlight nights together, and now you want to throw it away because of this some lawyer? <laughs> yes, Juliet, I cannot believe it. I am devastated that you could even think of being with someone else. Our love is as fragile as a, witted, a wilted hey, rose. Romeo, I understand your concerns. What is part ways amicably? Let the sudden... Setting something's bid farewell to the horizon. Oh, farewell, my dear Rose, uh, Romeo. Farewell, Juliet. I bear adieu to the heavy hearted. I, like a wounded knight in battle, oh, we may separate our ways. Good right, Romeo. I shall cherish the memories in our time together, even if they end in a messy breakup. Let's move on with the strength and grace. There we go. <laughs> Rank? I think that's it for me today, actually. I'm starting to, like, not be able to talk. But, 
for everyone that's been watching. I hope everyone had a good time. And I hope that more people actually uh, come here and check this game out. This game is about $16 and it's on its own separate website. Uh, if you just look up Suck It Up, I think, I believe. Or am I uh, saying the actual thing wrong? Let me just double check here. Ah, I did say it wrong. It's suck up with a explanation point and type in games. You can usually find it, but I can't seem to find it from this way. All right. Let me just, uh, This game isn't located on Steam, that's why I wanted to show everyone. It's probably on this page. Yeah. So if you type in Play Suck Up, I think. With an explanation point. You can find it. It's got its own separate uh, web page and such. Wow, when I actually typed that, it brought me to a Ubisoft page. Well, this game is definitely located on a website, so it's pretty easy to find. Uh, I think it's playsuckup.com, and that's the actual like area you'll find it. Uh, this game is about. $16, uh, not including tax, and you get a digital code directly to your mailbox. So it's really secure, it's a really good way of actually getting it, because the game requires you to have a digital license key to actually play it. Um, if anybody's actually interested in playing this game, check it right out. The game is really fun to play, and the AI is pretty good, I would say, even for it being in beta. Um, but this game will definitely improve in the future, and if anybody else has any... Uh, Anything else that you would like me to play, go check out my Discord. We have a bunch of different things that we wanna, I wanna get through uh, to actually playing. Um, and I've been creating titles and getting everything set. It's just been a little difficult because I've been having, uh, going through a lot of different things all at once and trying to figure it out. Oh, jeez, my throat. All right. Well, I hope everyone had a good time on my stream, and I hope to see everybody next time. Uh, if you guys had any other things you wanted to talk about or hit me up directly, I am on the Discord itself, so check me out. Uh, as well as I also have a TikTok and a Twitter. So, uh, I'll see everybody in the next time. Thank you.